is this thing on? Testing. Hello out there. Ooh, I think we're live. Yeah, we're live. There we go. Okay, did things a little bit differently tonight. Uh, what's up, Grant? What's up, uh, get trolled? <laughs> First, hello, Kristen. Hello, Kim. Good evening, everybody. Um, yeah, I did things a little bit differently. I started the live stream on, uh, uh, I copy Kelly. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here. Uh, yeah, so I started live streaming on YouTube instead of, uh, through OBS, which, uh, it kind of threw me off. I was like, do I even know how to stream, bro? No. No, I don't. Okay, but we seem to be alive. Everything seems to be okay. So, first things first, we need to grab some water. Nailed it. Ow. Um, can you guys hear me okay? Am I coming through loud and crispy? Water. Water me, bro. And then we need some oxygen right here. Boop. Yes. GG Gamer. Hello, hello. Hello, Cloud. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. We're hanging out here in uh, Icarus. I almost forgot what game I was playing. <laughs> okay, so the uh, the objective, the prospect I'm doing, if we could look over... Let me grab my oxygen real quick. Uh, right there. There we go. Perfect. I need some food. First things first, I literally just logged in, so probably not the best time to go live, but... Yeah, we're here. Live. Um, the prospect you can see on the left-hand side... I still say we need to change the opacity on that thing, but uh, we got farming shipment. We need to gather. Uh, what's up, Nosha? How are you? Uh, let's see. I'm driving at the moment. Just got, just got off work. I'm listening through uh, hands free. Okay, Kelly. Well, thanks for being here. What's up, Joseph? How's it going? Good, good, good. Good to hear it. Uh, yeah. So we need to gather up 600 cooked meat. My gosh. 1,000 fur and 1,200 leather. Now, there is another point here on the map. That's for this one right here. If we come down this way, you can kind of see what I've been working on here. Uh, down here in G14, there's another pod I haven't called in yet because it requires all this uh, berries, pumpkins, and just ridiculousness. Oh, there seems to have been a massive forest fire when I was gone. <laughs> I just logged in, so I don't know what's been going on. We got a crop plot right here. I've never used them before, so my thought is maybe uh, if we can interact with this, it's not showing anything. Nailed it. But there's but there's something there. So my thought is if we can grow produce here, I don't need to run around and uh, try to find all the pumpkins. Oh, it's a it's a thing. There's so many. It's like 600 pumpkins or something like that. Something ridiculous. Uh, get trolled. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well, my friend. How are you doing? I hope everyone is doing fantastic. I'm trying to get my bearings here and find my brain, too, because I just got off work not too long ago. Um, uh, got some things sorted out. How's the... Is the sound really, really loud for you guys? If it's not yet, it will be when the storms come. <laughs> yeah, but I wanted to go, uh... I wanted to do... You know, you're doing good? Trolled? That's good. I'm so glad to hear it. I'm tired, been up since five. My gosh. Yeah, I'm pretty tired myself, so I'm 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 hoping that my oh my axe. Oh! I'm hoping uh I'm able to focus enough tonight to get some things done, not whip my mouse around too much. Here we go. Can I uh repair it? Nailed it. Uh don't know if anyone has noticed, but goodish must have one hell of a rig to be able to run this game and star citizen. It's a pretty good it's a pretty good rig. If you guys uh that is that is not what I tried to do. My apologies. <laughs> if you guys um, type in exclamation and an all lowercase PC, it'll show you my stats. Or it should anyway. I've got it set up to do that. It's not bad. It's not bad. Sounds fine. Good, good, good. It's 11 p.m. right now. Uh, yeah, it's like it's like almost 10 for me. Stock uh, clock speeds? Yes, I am. Yeah, I've, I've done... Oh, I've done nothing to it. Um, I plugged it in. And, uh, yeah. I just started playing. Today is your Friday. 
Very nice. It's my Friday as well. Let's just move all this over. And um, so what we need to do... <laughs> I'm going to try to keep moving forward here because we, we actually have a lot to do. And I, I already know I'm not going to get it all finished tonight. But uh, real quick, just a quick cat recap that you guys were not here for. I started to build out here. I decided not to. I was going to build like all the way across. But I thought, why? I got this stone structure right here. Now, if you guys don't know, the stone structures here in Icarus, they are OP. It's like 100% tree fall damage. And then, um, yeah, Ryan, it's also in the description. <laughs> um, there, okay, right here. 100% tree fall damage. Get wrecked little thing and then um yeah it's impervious to wind lightning and like all storms so just completed the nine tails event it is very taxing to uh stay in combat with dozens of hammerheads at a time <laughs> thought it was very fun that sounds exhausting i have yet to do any of those events um so whenever they're whenever they're doing the events it's like 7 a.m for me and uh, I'm normally at work or, you know, it's a work day. I'm getting ready for work by then. So I'm now I haven't been able to participate in any of those events yet. The uh, jump town and all that and Star Citizen. So 6 a.m. here for you. Wow. Wow. Up early. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. So um, what do we need to do? Uh, we need to kill, destroy as much wildlife as possible. Speaking of the devil deer right there. Get owned. 5 a.m.? Wow. This is a large one, so we can't pick it up. We actually have to skin it. And I have yet to... Oh, no, I did. I did. I did that right before I ended playing the other day. I upgraded my knife. So, yeah, we're gathering... Hey, look at that. 1,000 fur on the left-hand side. And 1,200 leather. So we need everything. So I thought maybe... We might just explore. We'll probably do some caving, but honestly, real quick, it's 12, let's see, 12.06 in game. I want to make some uh, torches because inevitably the sun will go down, and I want to make sure that you guys can see while we're inside here. So, uh, let me just look. I think I unlocked some wall torches. There's a floor torch. Oh, stick and sulfur. Dude, I am freezing. My room is freezing right now. I'm trying not to, like, shake. I'm like shivering down here. I uh, also have an i9-10900. A Z590. Nice, nice. Uh, just waiting for a 3060 to show up on Monday. Ooh, that's exciting. Yeah, Star Citizen. That'll play it for sure. Um, sticks. Jump down event uh, that starts on the 13th will last 48 hours. So at least you'll get it. Yeah, I'm going to jump on it then for sure. Floor torches. Two of them. Craft. Uh, this is my first time seeing this game. What's it about? Oh, awesome. Awesome. Well, welcome. It's a fun game. It's a survival game. So, uh, if we don't focus on the story of it and we just kind of, uh, enjoy the gameplay, then it's a lot of fun. So, the story is, let me see if I can kind of sum this up, uh, up here in space. Look at that planet. Beautiful. There's other planets up here too, but we, we are on a space station and we are tasked to come down to this planet. This is this planet is named Icarus, hence the name of the game. So we come down to Icarus, and we always have on the left hand side there. We have um, it's called a, a, a prospect or you know a mission. They call it a prospect. And there's always something new to do, and we always have across the top of the screen we've got a time, uh, allotted time to do it, and that's real time too. So it's it's 12 days of real time. Let's see. This takes wood, sticks, and whatnot. So let's half and half. It's probably not going to be enough fuel, but it should do for now. Um, so then we complete these quests, these prospects, and then we get paid, and then we go back up to space station. Space station. Now, where the story starts to fall apart is uh, we are in a suit, right? Let me see. What is it? Here it is. Yeah, we're in the suit. When we're in caves, we can get pneumonia. We can... Um, the air is toxic, so we can't be here without a suit. But for some reason, wildlife can. I don't really know. Uh, but the whole point is to kind of survive and um, finish the prospect before the time runs out. Now, every time uh, we we finish a prospect, we start a new one. You start... That was epic. You start at the very beginning. Oh, that was a headshot. Get wrecked, deer. Dude, this... 
freaking mammoth deer over here. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to live stream. Come on, dude. This guy's jumping. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, so if you uh, if you don't finish, there's a rabbit. If you don't finish the uh, prospect and you're still here, then you kind of lose everything. You have to start all over again. So it's it's kind of it's a whole thing. Uh, I hope that <laughs> hope that explained it okay. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. So every time you start, you come down in a pod, which is uh, for me, it's right here. I came up north because this. Actually, no. This lake up here has. Uh, iron in a cave underneath the water but you start in a pod and you come down you kind of have to like get everything set up uh your base and you can start with thatch and you know, progress to wood progress to to stone and whatnot and um i just killed a baby deer uh now we're just gonna carry said baby deer on our hip right there <laughs> and we can't carry that one so anyway yeah uh it's it's a little weird it's a little weird that we uh, that we can't like we land on Icarus every single time, but we can't like build something and then come back and this thing's still here. We start we start from scratch every single time. It's a it's a multiplayer as well. So you start with nothing really. Um, you can start with uh, you can buy things at the space station with the credits you've earned. Oh no, where was that deer? Oh, was it over here? Yes, yeah, so you can buy things. You can bring it with you. Um, but it's, it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> it's basically you just start fresh every single time, every single prospect. So if I were to log out right now and log back in, I will be here because we're currently in the, in this prospect, but you can play with, uh, how many is it? I think it's like up to eight people, I believe. So let me show you real quick. Cause you're not familiar with it totally fine but we have inventory right here so we have our suit this is a virus suit i upgraded i bought it at the uh, space station up there and we have a slot for oxygen because we need oxygen even though we're wearing a helmet we're on this uh oxygenated needed, um planet makes no sense i don't know we need water so bottom left we got our food health water oxygen temperature all that kind of stuff uh you're probably gonna buy it looks fun Looks like a mist of rust and it is kind of, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the enemies though, aren't like the forest or they're not real people. It's a PVE. The, one of the big things I really like about it is it has weather events. So these storms will come in here and if you're just starting off and you got a thatch, uh, base, the wind storm will come in and blow it over. Lightning, uh, will hit it and catch fire. <laughs> oh man. Uh... Don't forget to like the stream. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. If you guys like it. Oh. There it is. Hold on. <laughs> we need everything we can get. And. Oh, did you. Oh, we'll edit that part out. My gosh. Uh, that timer. Uh, what function? What function does the timer serve? It's uh, as soon as that timer runs out at the top. The mission timer. Then, um, basically what happens is a perma storm comes through, levels everything, kills this character that is now, right now, um, I've been playing it, level 42, I lose it. I lose all progress, I lose everything. And then we start back at the space station, I have to recreate a character and start from, uh, level zero. So, <laughs> if you don't think you're going to finish a, uh, prospect, you can always, let's see here, map... You can always come down and come back to your pod and leave and just say, are you sure you want to quit? And just say, yeah, or, yeah, I just want to quit, even though it's not finished. So it's better to quit and not finish a prospect than to stay here and like die forever. Okay, so we have 20 cooked meat. We need 600. There's 61 over there already. Uh, yeah, we have a we have a lot, a lot to do. So I've been kind of like destroying wildlife here gathering all the stuff and i'll show you real quick um let's see we have time yeah it's only 13 50. we need to come right here to this blue mark you don't know if you can tolerate this sam <laughs> so far it hasn't been that bad uh for me 
It's uh, it's been so much fun. I'm having a blast with it. Hello, Chris G. Uh, I'm doing very well, my friend. How are you doing? Thank you so much for being here. So, there definitely is a trolley aspect to the game, but it hasn't it hasn't got me yet. There has there have been a few times where I just quit the prospect and don't get paid for it, and that's kind of annoying because I'll get hours in a prospect. I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna finish this. Uh, this one's 12 days, so I'm thinking maybe we have time to... Oh, you... Oh, good, 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 good. I was going to say he moved. There's a baby deer. Doe, a deer, a baby deer. There we go. And then we can uh, skin these. Oh, let's see here. And then grab the bones. And then also your tools of durability. You start with stone tools. Oh, that's what I was going to show you. Hold on, hold on. I was going to show you this. I don't mind playing it alone. This kind of mission would be incredible with more people because you could have different people gathering stuff. Like, you'd have someone working on all the uh, the produce while someone else is, uh, you know, teaming up and working on all... Oh, no, no, no. We need to put stuff in there. Uh, There we go. There we go. Look at that. So, on the left-hand side, now we have 82 cooked meat. Out of 600. Now, one thing I did notice when I was, um, I played this, this prospect before and I ended up rage quitting because it was too much. This guy down here oh, unlocks produce and it's like 600, uh, I don't know, it's something ridiculous. Like 600, uh, pumpkins, melons, like 300 carrots, and you don't see that stuff everywhere. It's around, but you really have to look for it. And the problem is the stuff was like deteriorating. Uh, spoiling, because, you know, everything has a spoil timer on it. This has 530 seconds left on this one. Right there. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> things were spoiling before, like, all the pumpkins were spoiling before I could load up all the pumpkins. And I was like, dude, I'm just chasing my tail here. So I... Oh, oh. So I waited to drop this pod with all the produce until I kind of get this one... Uh, with the leather and the fur and all that kind of stuff. Pretty much done. Because here's pumpkin here. And you gather it. As soon as I gather this, a spoiler timer ends up on it. So, there. Oh, here comes a weather event. Uh, severe winds. So we don't need to worry about it because we have a stone structure. There's more pumpkin down there. So I'm trying to save all that until we call in the other drop pod. But I feel like that would clutter up the left side of my screen, right? There would be, like, leather... Uh, fur, cooked meat, pumpkin, melon, carrots, squash. Kelly, if you need to fall asleep, fall asleep, my friend. I appreciate you having me on. I appreciate you, uh, you watching. But I know you've been really busy and working hard, so get some sleep. Get wrecked, bunny. There we go. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah, if you guys like it, um, do YouTuber saying, smash that thumbs up button. <laughs> or you can lightly tap it. I don't really care. We're going to craft a rabbit. No, no, you must stay awake. Is thatch and stone the only materials? No. Oh, that's a troll. I was going to show you this. Um, so, so crafting right here, right? This is what we can craft on our person. So we've got... You start off with a stone pick, and you can learn everything in the tech tree. I'll show you that here in just a second. But you learn all this stuff, and you can just craft it right out of your inventory, right? Uh, to get a bed, that's where you set your spawn. Where is it even? There's a bed on here. Here it is, bed roll. Um, so really, the first order of business is to gather up, kill wildlife, gather up as much fur and leather as possible to build your bed roll, because then you can set spawn on it. And then so when you die, you spawn at your bed instead of um, back here on your pod every single time. And then, to learn more things, you got a tech tree. So as you level up, you got four tiers, right? So tier one, you've got all this stuff. You start with this. Uh, you know, you unlock your stone tools. And you kind of progress. So every time you level up, you get more uh, skill points. And you can spend those skill points here. And then tier two. So uh, tier one, real quick. Stay with me, guys. You got... <laughs> You got thatch right here and then wood, right? So then tier two, you move on over to uh, some compounds and that kind of stuff. But then you branch into this stone. And then from stone, 
In tier three, you get into concrete and glass. You can actually have skylights in the game. It's really cool, right? And a concrete. And then in tier four, you advance all the way to this uh, composite stuff, which... Um, oh, weird. I'm not seeing. Is it over here? There's aluminum, concrete. I could have sworn they had another one. I thought they had a different one. But yeah, anyway, there's there's like four or five different progressions you can build with. Uh, each having their own benefit. Like if we look here at the concrete, it says plus 15 insulation from temperature and plus 100% falling tree resistance. So if a, these high wind storms, they will knock trees over. So if you're building near, like if I was building in the trees, that a tree could fall over and destroy my, my house. If it was thatched, the winds would just tear it apart. Look on the top right. You get that dark red section coming and then the really dark red section coming. Um, you build a skyscraper. Yeah, I don't know if there's a build limit. I mean, it's kind of like, as long as you have time on the mission timer and the materials, you can build. Uh, but the cool thing is with a building, it is structural, uh, like based. You, okay, we're gonna get inside. It's really, is that too loud for you guys? Let me know, it's really loud for me. And then storm exposure goes away when you're inside. So uh, if you build things without enough support, kind of like, a, I think Valheim was like that, right? Um, the, the things will start to crack and break. So you really have to have a good foundation. If you're gonna build up or out, really cool. Satisfactory, I almost walked over from a campfire. You can catch yourself on fire too, and it's really bad when, uh, <laughs> When you're in a thatch or a wood structure and you walk over your campfire and you catch your whole base on fire and the place just burns down, you spend an hour building it. Uh, we need more water. Did I? Dude, we went through the water fast. Uh, so pull this out of my suit. Scooch it on there. Grab the full one. Put it back in my suit. I like the management aspect of the game. Uh, we're managing... Thirst, temperature, storm exposure, oxygen. Um, it's pretty cool. And this farming thing, I don't know. Yeah, see, we're growing a pumpkin here. Uh, if I look in here, oh, two pumpkins. So I planted one. Oh, but it did two of them. So if I put that in there now, it starts. Okay, well, what's the key? Key bind to move, uh, quick move items. Okay, I'll show you. So anywhere, right? If you're in here. Um, let me show you in storage. It'll, Cause it'll actually, it actually tells you. Right here, left shift uh, to split a stack. So left shift, shift and, and drag will split the stack. If you want to move something over to your inventory or the other inventory, just left control and click will move that over. If you want to move all of type, it's left shift control and the, all the bone will go over. Boop. That's a really nice way to do it. So if you have multiple of the same item, it'll scooch everything over there. Gotta love trolls. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's up, Firebird? That's a nice house. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Let me go head out and have fun time. Uh, thanks for stopping by, Grant. I appreciate you being here. Uh, have fun. Stay safe, my friend. I'm just out here hanging out in a storm, waiting for it to pass. So, once the red goes away, um, then it's still a little windy, but then it'll become uh, nice and clear. Beautiful. So, we got pumpkins going. I was just trying to see if this is a viable option, because once you uh, collect the produce and stuff from the ground... It doesn't seem to really respond. Sometimes when I log out, and I'm out, I logged out for a little while and I log back in, things will kind of respond, but I can't really count on it because also they deteriorate. Um, yeah, see, these are here. As soon as I pick these, they're going to start spoiling. Hmm. So I was wondering if maybe I could just grow all the, uh, the produce I had, right? Or all the produce that's going to require for this guy down here. But I don't know if we're going to get to that today or not. Um, so yes, yeah, so we just survived a high wind storm and the house is looking good. Now you can repair, uh, so you've got a, uh, repair hammer. So this really comes in handy when, uh, dude, why is it showing a, a ramp? <laughs> That's weird. Okay. 
So when you when you got wood and everything, it'll deteriorate. It'll take damage from the wind, from uh, you know, the worse, the more severe the storm, the worse the damage that your structure will take, unless it's this uh stone. I have yet to have to repair anything stone. Uh, yeah. So that's that's pretty cool. Oh, actually, you know what? Before we leave, let's go ahead and uh, repair this. I want to go try to find a cave. Uh, spoilage stops once you place food in the shuttle. Oh, okay. So, I did that with carrots. And I could have sworn the carrots were counting down. And I didn't want to mess with it. It was probably just me then. So, that's good to know. That's good to know. I couldn't quite confirm it, but I, I thought that was a thing. And I was like, there's no way. I'm going to be chasing my tail. <laughs> So, um, let's see. The sun, mm, yeah, the sun's going down here in 40 minutes, so we're going to wait for that. Uh, in the meantime, let's kind of look around here real quick, see if we can't find, I hear a wolf over here. We just need to be gathering up as much stuff as possible. Yeah, I don't know when this fire happened. That's really weird. I don't know if things happen, like, when we're off camera, I, or when I'm, like, logged out, I guess. Uh, yours are stopping in the shuttle. That is, that's great to know, Woof. Thank you so much for that. Um, great to know. Because <laughs> I was like, dude, the pumpkins, the, the pumpkins were like spoiling quick. Okay, I, I'm also checking stream too, you guys. Uh, for me, I can see really well, but on stream it goes dark really, really quick for some reason. So, um, I went ahead and built the torches on the inside. That way we have light. Um... Mm -mm -mm -mm. While there's st still some sunlight, <laughs> words, words are hard. Uh, I'm going to chop down this tree to get some wood that we can use. That oh, that was amazing, dude! Two chops, two chops, and that thing's down. Um, I'm gonna grab some better fuel, uh, for the torches. Now there's also coal we can gather inside of uh, caves, which I want to go find a cave. There we go. Cause um. I just, I feel better once I get a shotgun online. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got a really good bow right now. I could go for the recurve bow. Um, I think that's what it's called. Ooh. Let me go check. Because it's starting to get dark. I don't, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't want dark stream for you guys. Let's go ahead and turn this on. <laughs> turn it on, I said. Oh, okay, so we just... I've never used the torch before. We just F and it turns out... Look how much light that is. Wow. Very nice. Now, um, just pro tip, you guys. If you guys are playing this and you're building out of wood or thatch, probably the best idea not to put a campfire in here because you it's required for you to sleep. Let's see, it's 18.10 right now, so we can sleep. Uh, you can only sleep between these hours and it's required that you have a lit campfire. So definitely don't want to put a lit campfire inside of your thatch or wood, it will burn. And also torches. If I put this torch on this wall with a slope in a thatch or wood, it would probably catch fire, I believe. All right, so it is daytime now. We can go ahead and head on out. Um, let me, let me just grab this stuff. We can drop it off over there. And I need to find another, I guess we can eat. Uh, I'm wondering, can we? Can we plant this? And will it grow two? I don't really know. Is it is it a one-to-one? -one? Like you put one in and it grows one, or you put one in and it grows two? I, <laughs> I don't really know. Um, I think we're doing good here. Let's go ahead and put this away. Organize our life a little bit. That's not what I tried to do. That's what I tried to do. Perfect. Keep this here because we're going to drop that off at the thing. Uh, this was for... That. That should be good. And then this. A boop boop. That. And then over here. So I'm always trying to think ahead. I've been playing this enough to uh, start thinking ahead of what I need. So we need sticks uh, to make tree sap and then bone to make this crushed bone, which makes epoxy. And then we can use all that to, uh, let's see here. We can craft this guy. Where is it? The machining bench requires a lot of iron for nails, uh, epoxy, iron, and stone. And that's going to allow us to build a shotgun with uh, ammo and all this kind of cool stuff. So I'm kind of a hoarder anyway in these kind of games. Um, so I like to make sure that I'm gathering everything I can while I can. So there's more nails right here. 
Um, that's that's not near enough. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna need to find another cave. We're gonna need to drop this stuff off. Uh, kill any animals that we see on the way up there, and try to advance. Now down here, let's see where where am I? Right around. Oh gosh, somewhere down here. I think maybe down here. There's a cave. Um, I've basically cleared it out of iron. I think there may be a cave over here or over here. We need to check that out. So I'm going to run over to the shuttle. Drop this stuff off. And then, uh, see if we can't find some iron. What chimney Christmas, dude? <laughs> this scared me. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Very nice. Um... I always want to bring a skinning bench with me, just so I can get more. A skinning bench, when you throw these guys on skinning benches, it, it yields better, like, more stuff. Uh, but, kind of like Valheim, every bench requires a structure built around it, so, I don't know. I have three floors and four ramps with me. That's just for when I get in a cave. Sometimes there's ore that's up high and you can't really get to it, so, um, I'll build a ramp up to it. Yeah, right here. There it is. Look how pretty the game is, right? It's gorgeous right now. There's a wolf. Get owned. This guy wants to go. Oh! Something over there. Anyway. Uh, there's cooking in the game. You can get better recipes. Uh, you can stack your food just like Valheim. You get different buffs. My health bar down there. Uh, there's two little bars. It's because... I ate some meat and it ate some berries. It's pretty basic, but you can get this thing like stacked up if you're doing a uh, better food. So if you complete the objective, does everything still get destroyed? Um, you complete the objective, you go back to your pod, which looks kind of like this. You say, I'm good to go, ready to go. And you jump in it and it's animation that takes you up and it gives you a readout of uh, the objectives that you completed. You can rate the prospect. But you, you see yourself through the window of the pod going up into outer space. So I don't really know what happens here. Um, when you start a new prospect, you come back to the same planet. The base I have here in L12 won't be here. So I don't know if a storm comes through and like destroys everything or I don't know. You're going to go rest. All right, Kelly. Thank you so much for hanging out again. Uh, get some get some good, good rest. And enjoy your weekend. Grab some berries. We're on an all berry diet, so we're just gonna pay for it later. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, if I'm trying to save all the cooked meat. Oh, you know what I was gonna do? I was gonna look for. Let's look. Let's come over here. I don't know if I've been to this cave. I'm pretty sure there's a the cave over here. Um, I think it's like right here. There's so many sounds in the forest. Um, sometimes a deer growl. And I think there's like a terrible creature coming at me. So if you guys have seen the trailer, uh, the game trailer for the game, <laughs> the game trailer for the game, nailed it. Uh, you'll see that there's like alien, like wolves. So there is alien life eventually going to be in the game, but it's not here currently right now. Let's see, where are we at? I know there's one over here, right? Oh, maybe it's up there. Mm. So caves, sometimes they'll just be just this big, huge, obvious cave, right? It's like, wow, that's a big cave. Other times, there, this, this, um, rock looks a little different and you can mine into it. And a good indication is sometimes there's better ore right outside the cave entrance, but huh. yeah, no, it's not going to be down here. It's up, it's up, it's up this way. Uh, I did play Valheim. I played, uh, I, got, I don't know. I got like, I can't remember, 11 or 16, I, something like that. Um, videos on the channel of Valheim. That was before, that was back when I had like 50 subs. So I think they got like 14 views in each video. <laughs> and the quality of content is drastically improved uh, from my older videos. So there's times I... I wonder if I should just take the old videos off because the audio is terrible. Uh, zero structure. 
Oh, right, I think... No, right here. Here, this is what I'm talking about. So this clearly is like an Indiana Jones entrance, isn't it? Uh, but it's sealed. But if you walk up to it, it shows a pick icon. So we can, uh, we can break into it. And currently, I didn't show you guys this. Under talents. So every time you level up, you get some... Uh, tech points you can spend here and you also get some talents um, which you can spend to boost different things one of the things I have I don't even know which one it is there's one of these it's like there's a chance a uh, chance to mine deposit in one hit so sometimes you'll see me hitting rock and like all of a sudden the whole boulder has gone it usually happens right here on these cave entrances like the, the entire thing it just mines the whole thing which is really nice if you're gathering rock but you guys are about to see here in just a second. There's terrible things in these caves. Um, I'm going to go find it here real quick. So in these caves... Um, yeah, there it goes. I just did it. It mined the entire thing. Now I'm encumbered. It's it's a little trolly because you can't... Uh, to my knowledge, you can't like mass drop all of a kind. You have to like click and drag or right click and destroy and confirm it's quite annoying when the inventory fills up with something that you didn't really need what's up phase gate how's it going my friend i'm doing very well uh i'm gonna try not to get wrecked by the creatures in here there we go these evil cave snake demon worms uh oh ow dude normally it's two hits it's a 300 damage to get those guys to disappear. And now we're poisoned. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Anybody else? Pick up my arrows. So the poison, obviously, you know, you can see it's not hurting me too bad. Uh, we got some status effects as well. Underground, so in damp, enclosed environment, chance of pneumonia. Like, <laughs> we're... We're wearing a spacesuit. How am I going to get pneumonia? I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, there's some things about the game that are just kind of like, I don't know about that. Uh, but let's go ahead and drop this so you guys can see. And mine this out. And in this ore, we can take back to the uh, furnace, the smeltery we got back at base. And then it turns uh, this iron ore into ingots. Just like Valheim or, I mean, even Minecraft, really. Doing good. Uh, been playing some Halo. Oh, you have phase? Isn't that good? It's so good. Uh, I thought about streaming Halo, but then I'm like, I've been doing um, I've been doing videos on it. I didn't want to get too far ahead that I lose momentum on the videos. You know what I'm saying? So, definitely can't wait to get back into it. And then sometimes these... There we go. You got to find the sweet spot. And sometimes you can't. It's, it's, it can be really annoying, especially when there's beautiful ore right there that you can't grab. Uh, if you drop your torch in the water, the torch will go out. You can be stuck in a cave in dark, and it's terrible. So another pro tip right there. Just getting all the iron so we can make some nails and then get that uh, other bench created. And we can make our shotgun, and everything's going to be fine. Uh, now, I happen to know that we need copper. And I think it's copper. And Yeah, I just got pneumonia. Perfect. Now stamina is greatly reduced. It's just a wonderful thing. Uh, I happen to know that we need some copper. There it is right there. For uh, bullets. Or to make gunpowder and whatnot. So here's some right here. Dude, there's all the ore in this one. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Boop. Oh, that's even more perfect. -er. Okay. Um, We definitely don't want to fall down there and go out. Can you guys see? <laughs> I don't know. I can see better than you guys can. Uh, I like to see uh, what what you did in Halo. I got two. I think two uh, two videos on the channel right now for Halo. With more coming. Okay, are there more? I think there's more worms back here. There's not. There's only two of them. Dude, this is epic. This is all the iron. So, hmm. Here's where things can kind of get and get us in trouble as well. If I drop this torch, it goes into water, it'll go out, and we can't see a thing. Now, oh, there's some platinum right there. Nice. That's tier two, so I'll need a steel axe. Um, like, I couldn't drop it here. I guess this is okay right here, right? Oh, we got no stamina because we're in water. Uh-oh. I can't remember what I was going to say, but um, sometimes 
on the sidestep. We can't really drop a torch. It happens to work out right now, so it's not too bad. Um, when I'm mining by myself, it'll just be pitch black, and I'll just kind of, like, eyeball it. But it's not a good way to stream. We have pneumonia, so we should probably leave, because it's just going to be... It's just going to pile on as long as we're in here, and it just greatly reduces our stamina, so... Boop. Well, let's turn it off. We'll sit right here real quick. Kind of let it go down. Unfortunately, uh, it's time-based. We have 477 seconds left on it. We can uh, craft antidotes for it. I've never actually got that far. Uh, the thing I've been doing with a buddy of mine uh, is I've been streaming and playing the Master Chief Collection as a road to... Inv oh, nice. Nice. That's a great idea. Uh, FaZe, where do you stream? You can get pneumonia even uh, though you have a space suit and helmet. Yeah, In Invictus, I know. It's <laughs> it's crazy. And the air is toxic. We can't breathe it. So we also have to uh, manage our oxygen. Even though there's trees here. Like, trees produce oxygen, right? And it, we should have an oxygen abundance. And there's wildlife. Like a wolf over there. And this guy, whatever this guy is. A little rabbit? Yeah, they're all breathing just fine, but we can't. So, yeah. Don't question the story of uh, of the game. And it's a super fun game. <laughs> uh, you watched one of them at lunchtime today. Nice. Thank you, Joseph. Uh, finally, more Icarus. <laughs> What's up, Ross? Yeah, doing more Icarus. I've been I've been really wanting to, to get back into Icarus here. Uh, I released a Star Citizen video that, this morning. And uh, I thought, you know, I almost streamed Star Citizen, but no, I want I want a little bit of variety. Um, you stream on Twitch. And then upload. Oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go find you. I'm gonna stalk you. <laughs> Man, I gotta love how uh, caves in the game give you love lo uh, lo love infections. <laughs> Lung infections. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh man, we don't question it. We don't question it. And the longer you we're in here, uh, it just kind of piles on, right? It's just more and more and more pneumonia. Everybody gets pneumonia. Uh, we could run back, I guess, and drop off the iron, but it's, it's, um, it's not too far away, but meh. If I wasn't streaming, I would. I think because we're streaming, we're just going to keep on with the pneumonia. Because why not? And just gather up as much as possible. And also have some perks, uh, that reduce the weight of ore in my inventory. So we can actually carry quite a bit before we're, uh, encumbered. And also I have another perk that, uh reduces the effect of encumbrance as well, so I can move a little bit faster while encumbered. Now, the fact that uh, we have pneumonia and our stamina is... Stamina? <laughs> our stamina is squat right now. Uh, doesn't really help me. But it is what it is. We're going to power through, sick and all, uh, gathering up iron. <laughs> I mean, that's how Ebola started. It grew and originated from a cave. Yeah, that's that is true. Um... I really want this platinum, but you can see the little two down arrows above the pick icon. That's a that's a tier two axe. Uh, so stone is it's like not even a tier. It's just stone. Iron is I don't even I don't know if it says it or not. It's technically a tier one, and then steel will be a tier two, and then this platinum is like a, a tier three. And we're just hanging out in the old. Uh, Moist lung over here, cave. So let's go ahead and leave. I think that's most of that. We can't grab the platinum anyway, so we may as well um, head on back and start smelting the stuff down. So it's a uh, south. <laughs> Wait, what is it? South eastish, southish. <sighs> uh, but you guys, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, for me, it's on a Friday night. You could be doing so many cool things, and you're watching me really not do much here in Icarus. But uh, I was going to be doing this anyway, right? Like, uh, the Icarus streams, it's just kind of like this. The game is this. It's very grindy. You got to do a lot. You got to put a lot of time into this. I mean, this, this mission was like 17 days, I think. Maybe it was 15. I can't remember. So that's how long, I've, that's how long ago I started this mission. And I've uh, been kind of grinding away off camera off screen so I'll do that sometimes just to progress and then come on back with you guys um, while we kind of do this but it, it's hard to make videos for me it's hard uh, with my recording style it's kind of hard to do videos with Icarus because it's like we're gonna hit this rock for an hour and I'll be back with you guys 
And I come back, it's like, now I'm going to hit this tree for another hour. <laughs> and I'll be back with you guys. It's like three hours of my gameplay for 30 minutes for you guys. All right, well, have a good night. Uh, getting late for me, so I'm going to go to head to bed. Thank you so much, FaZe, for being here. I appreciate you. Uh, Twitch can be finicky when searching users. Yeah, it can be. Um, are you FaZeGate over there? I will find you. Last Mohicans reference. Check. Um, I'll definitely go over there and, and uh, give you a follow. And we also have this. So let's go ahead and fill up this stuff. There we go. So this is an oxygenator. Or oxide dissolver, rather. This oxide produces oxygen. You can stick it directly in your, in your inventory. And stack of 50 and it'll count down. Uh, phase gate MC. Perfect. Awesome. I'll go check you out. Uh, and then that'll that'll count towards your oxygen, but you run out of that, so you have to keep mining it. Uh, just like everything else, you advance in this game, and you can craft all the stuff in a leather pouch, and you can store oxygen in your leather pouch. It's fantastic. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, stick that over there. Let's come over this way. It's feeling kind of dark, but it's only like it's noon. <laughs> Here we go. Swap out our water. Put that right there. Perfect. Uh, while we're here, I guess might as well fill up our oxygen while we're talking about oxygen. Probably be a good move. Icarus always reminds me of a better Rust. Yeah. I haven't played Rust, but I know uh, Rust is like PvP focused, right? That's kind of one of the things um, that I like about uh, Icarus is that it's PvE. Uh, lastly, congrats on the big 10,000. Yeah, thank you so much, FaZe. I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody being here and... Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> just hanging out and supporting the channel i just i i just i can't i can't say it enough i can never say it enough i appreciate you all all right so we have more meat we need to do some more killing as well we just stuck everything here but we didn't start it let's go ahead and start that like a good gamer uh, this game looks really cool but looks a bit too grindy for me plus i like building huge structures when i'm bored you can build big structures you just have to like kind of plan them out right like these there's also fish in here that can poison you trolley yeah, these you can build down like there's, I think, three columns here. Um, but the wood, it will take damage. So if you're going to build huge structures, I would say uh, probably wait to build huge until you get like better material like um, stone. How are the wings, by the way? Oh, they they were fantastic. Oh, my wife was like, celebratory dinner, what do you want? I was like, hmm, Chinese fried chicken or wings? And we went with the wings. Delish. Uh, might be slow, uh, but what is PvP? Oh, PvP, Jeffrey, I'm sorry. Uh, PvP is player versus player. And uh, oh, you figured it out. Okay, <laughs> player versus environment. No problem. We still have pneumonia. Oh, it's gone. Perfect. Let's go ahead and eat. Uh, it would be destroyed anyway. So, um, a trolled, it, it would, if you're doing this, I should mention, oh, here comes another weather event. What is this one? A storm weather event. It just says storm. I guess there could be lightning and stuff. So there's lightning storms, there's thunderstorms, there's rainstorms, there's showers, there's windstorms, all, all sorts of stuff. Uh, you can play on a uh, sandbox. It's called an outpost. And there, um, you don't have the mission timer. It's just, you can play it indefinitely. And you have the resources. It's just on a smaller map. It's kind of like an area like this. But every time you log out and log back in, the resources respawn. So you got to have, like, the caves respawn with metal and copper and all that kind of stuff. So you can play that way and just grind it out and build something massive. So I actually have a different playthrough I'm doing. Uh, where That's what I'm doing. I'm building this massive base on a outpost. The downside to that, which... It's, you know, it's the downside to some and not to others. You don't have these missions where you earn money. So you never really progress in the, in the, uh, what you call it. I'll show you real quick. While this is going on, we can go ahead and, um, I'll just show you guys real quick. Return to character, select, uh, yes. So, 
I just want to show you this real quick. Just, just, just so I'm doing the game justice. I don't think I can really. Oh, you know what? Mm -mm -mm. I can't show you because we're mid prospect. If I, if I remove from prospects and quit this prospect, then I'll go back to the main menu and I can show you the whole uh, tree. Um, but I can't right now because we're mid prospect. So I'm just going to resume this. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, you can, you can build like, it's not creative mode, but, um, I have, I actually haven't seen any wolves or bears there either. So not much danger. Go. You still have storms. Uh, when you're talking about wings, I thought it was in game. <laughs> you level them that <laughs> Wouldn't that be epic? If I could, uh, if I could craft hot wings in game. Check this out though, when the storm comes in, the clouds actually change. Like, how cool is that, right? Oh, it's so cool. And there's different biomes too. There's desert biomes, there's snow biomes, there's this forest biome. There's more to come. Eventually there's gonna be vehicles in the game. You can build like a motorcycle, uh, some kind of buggy, like a dune buggy or, what? Oh, he jukes, mad jukes, <laughs> jukes. <laughs> We're building stuff in Fallout 4 after I finished everything. Fallout 4 is amazing, right? So we're out here in the storm. In the top right again, uh, you can see it's kind of green. So we're in a storm. It gets a little bit, a uh, little shade of red, a little bit uh, more severe part of the storm. And then it gets like really red. And sometimes it'll get like this deep red or like a purple. And you know, things are real then. In the uh, snow biomes, you get like blizzards. And uh, desert get sandstorms and all that kind of stuff. Um, not a whole lot going on in here as far as wildlife. Now the wildlife, they don't—they're not affected by the storms like we are. Like as soon as that little water cloud on the top right icon goes over uh, to my helmet up there, you'll see in the top center of the screen I start taking damage. Now. Uh, let me know, guys, if the if the storm is too loud. Because then the storms get super loud in the game. Yeah, but the wildlife, they don't... Um, they don't get affected by the storms. And then you'll see it right now. Storm exposure. An icon right there. We can look right here. Storm exposure. Minus 20% movement speed. So when you're out here, your stamina goes down. You, you move slower. And it's not good. So if you're stuck out in a storm without a structure built, you can find big rocks and you can mine them out, kind of hollow them out and sit inside and be safe from the storm too. So that's another pro tip. <laughs> uh, if you like wings there, a uh, really good place called uh, Tail Feathers in Fort Worth. And it's just, ooh, ooh. I'm like 18 minutes from Fort Worth. Thank you, Ross. I'm going to check that out. There's a couple good uh, wing places around, I find. I like finding those little places. Tacos, wings, fried chicken, that's normally my go-to. It's just how I roll. <laughs> uh, we can use this uh, spoiled meat for recipes later on, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, let me go ahead and take this bone. While the storm is going here... Boop. You're from Texas, Jeffrey? Nice, nice. I'm in uh, Dallas. Ish. I'm close to Dallas. Uh, Ross, where in uh, Fort Worth is that place? It's your go-to spot when you're at school? Nice. I used to live in Keller. I love North Fort Worth. Uh, if you go up into Keller, just, if you just go a little bit further. Go up to Roanoke. There's a Hard 8 barbecue up there. My gosh, dude. Oh. It'll, it'll save you. Whatever's going on in your life, that, that barbecue will save you. <laughs> it's amazing. Poxy. So we're using a bone to craft crushed bone in the mortar and pestle. We're using that to craft epoxy, and that's going to be used for later recipes. Houston, Austin is uh, me now in Portland. Oh, okay. Houston and Austin. Nice, nice. I love Austin. Austin's so cool. I love going down there and uh, doing the whole food truck thing. Love it. 
Okay, well, we have a storm. It's, um... <laughs> Look how much iron we have now. This is crazy. So we can craft up some nails. We probably have enough iron now to actually build this bench. If I can focus, 40... We can craft 40 iron. That's going to craft 400 nails. Uh, ooh, hard eight now. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> it, dude, it, it's... It's delicious. It's one of those um, pay pay per pound, so be prepared to do drop some uh, dollars. But man, it's worth it. They're steaks. They cook they cook them like over open flame, and they I don't know they like soak them in butter or something. Ah, so good. Uh, tail feathers should be down downtown on seventh. Okay. Fun story. I used to work at the uh, Omni Fort Worth Hotel. Yeah. Little backstory there for you guys I worked security there and then I worked at the front desk overnights <laughs> okay um what was I gonna do we need oh we need to put the the nails here because we need to make this guy so we have enough uh, that little guy I wouldn't worry about that little guy we need all this stuff we should have enough now to make this you guys uh, the poxy that's where the poxy comes in see I was planning ahead 82 epoxy nailed it right there and then just some stone which i think i have some over here we do the masonry bench is where you uh, craft your stone walls and all that kind of good stuff so yeah now we can craft this guy the machining bench and um <laughs> let's just run over that real quick i built this out so we can always expand the base if we need to and if we need to go out that way we can and um hmm we may end up doing that. We can also pick up place items. So if you put something down, um, what's up, Travis? Uh, tail feathers, 2,800 blood. So street. Oh, nice. Nice. Thank you so much. I'm going to try that out. I'm definitely going to try it out. Yes. Uh, trolled. It's, it's incredible. Watch this. Um, if, if the wall is not damaged, which stone it's most likely not. Uh, wood, you may have to pull out your repair hammer and repair it first. You just equip it and you hold down left mouse button and it hammers it and repairs it. But check this out. If I look at something, this wall, and I hit Y, it didn't break the wall. It looks like it did, but now my inventory, we have a wall. And you can just right click and deploy. And just like that, it's amazing. Also, there is a uh, somewhere around here. I don't know where I put them. Right here, there's an upgrade, uh, building upgrade tool. So if you build an entire structure out of wood, then you can build all the pieces you're going to need in here. Say like these stone walls, I need, you know, 369, whatever. You can build them all in here, stick them in your inventory, equip the upgrade uh, hammer. Let me show you this real quick. Uh, building upgrade tool. I'm sorry if you guys have seen this, but I just, I love talking about this game. It's amazing. You hold R. And uh, then you can select, since you have the rock walls in your inventory, you can just select that. And you just literally walk up to the wooden wall and you left click, boom. And it 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 breaks the wood wall. It doesn't break it, it removes it, sticks it in your inventory hole. And it just replaces it with a uh, stone. So it's amazing. It is amazing. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and turn that off. Can you guys still see it's a little dark? Let's turn on a torch. Uh, so we got this guy made. So let's go ahead and bring him out and then figure out where to put him. Also picking up things. I'll show you right here with the torch. Hold X. You can, uh, we can remove the wood, right? In your inventory and then we pick it up. Or if there's something in the inventory of what you're moving, you hold down X and it picks it up. It'll drop a little pallet containing that wood. So you really don't lose material. It's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove this as well. So building materials, you hit Y to remove them. Uh, benches and stuff, you hold down X. And you can either stick it down your inventory and go to that slot and just place it. Or uh, you can right click it in your inventory and deploy. So this guy will stick right here. Because it seems like a perfect place for it. And then um, the torch, wall torch, yeah. Now, I don't know if the torches burn. Uh, I don't know if they're going to burn these benches because everything is flammable, right? Let's, let's just stick it 
<laughs> right there, because <laughs> why not? Uh, Martin, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. Hold on, you guys, real quick. Um, I've been missing things. The screen is going to, uh, it may flash for a second. I really apologize. Actually, you know what? Maybe not. We'll just pause it. There we go. Oh, no, it sure did. I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I had alerts turned off, so I wasn't being notified. You guys. Uh, Martin, thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the, uh, Goodish family. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate everybody hanging out with me. Uh, so now we have this machining bench, right? And now things get interesting. Shotgun, recurve bow, platinum spear, uh, platinum mining tools, better armor, hunter uh leather so this you guys uh you guys play arc kind of like the tech armor this has um i really want it i unlocked it already but i haven't been able to uh make it yet this has a composite now it doesn't have like the jetpack and all that kind of stru uh, stuff uh travis is <laughs> my man now he knows yeah <laughs> Good old 12 gauge. So you can make a 12 gauge. You can make, um, what is it? A handgun, a bolt action, and then here in tier four, you can make a hunting rifle. Really cool. So there's plenty to do. There's different tiers of, uh, different levels of bow and all that kind of cool stuff. So we've been hanging out inside for a little bit. That's still actually working. Um, so one of the best things to do right away is start working on the uh, cement mixer. Let's go ahead and, uh, some fresh air in here. Here we go. Oh, let there be light. Close. Oop. Ah. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. So we, uh, cause this is cement mixer is going to make, um, concrete, which is used to make the concrete furnace, which smelts the tier two ores into the ingots. Cause this will only do copper and iron. It's a whole thing. So I guess we might as well start grabbing this stuff over. Let's put that guy back so we can get back up to 20. Um, so to craft this guy, we need 20 iron nailed it. We need eight nails. Uh, we've got a lot. Right there. Boop. Uh, we can stick that guy over there. And if you have everything in your inventory and you go to craft it, it'll pull it from the inventory. Just the amount of uh, materials it needs and places it here. Or you can stockpile things in here. I like stockpiling it. Uh, just, you know, to clutter things up. Why not? So rope. Uh, that's not that. Uh, I've already started gathering rope. Also... We need our oxygen. See, our oxygen is going down. There we go. Our food's going down. Let's go ahead and stack these to get... Oh, they didn't give me a buff. Weird. Okay, anyway. Uh, I watched a streamer play this game and in a half hour, they never died once. I played the beta and in five minutes, I died by wolves and by a bear. Rage quit. I haven't played since. Uh, Invictus, I feel you. Um, <laughs> that's happened to me many times many times i have rage quit this game uh quite a bit for that reason it, it's maddening isn't it it's maddening sometimes the start is really difficult because you start with nothing and you show up and there's a wolf dead and then every time you die i should point this out so be be aware every time you die whatever um xp you have up here when you die this turns red it's like a it's a penalty so you can't level up anymore until you start over at the current level. Regain all those levels to make it unread. And then you can finish. So it's... Oh, dude. Sometimes dying like three times in a row. Oh, it's so maddening. <laughs> I don't know why, but every time you pull the bow out, uh, the first thing that pops in my head is the opening from Mando. Thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Oh! <laughs> I can't. Oh, dear. Oh, that was amazing. That was epic. That was like from downtown. Hello, Goodish. Uh, what have I missed? Hello, hello. Um, you haven't missed a whole lot. Um, I'm playing a, a prospect right now where we're having to gather up 600 cooked meat, 1,000 fur, and 1,200 leather. And uh, I don't know if you can see. Uh, oh. <laughs> 
Uh, epic shot followed up with that, that weird shot. Um, it's hard to see because the opacity on the thing, but I have 92 cooked meat, 428 fur, and 838 leather. So things are going pretty slow right now. Um, I I built the stone structure before the stream, so you didn't miss that much. Oh, I've been streaming for an hour already. Man, time flies. We're having fun, right? Uh, so right now, I'm working on getting the concrete furnace made, which is actually over here in this guy. Um, so we need we need stone. I went out there for stone, but I ended up going after a deer. Uh, David Miller, hello, hello. Uh, hello. Uh, I can't get around that bears and deer can breathe, but you can't. Uh, yeah, seriously, right? It's, um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's one of those things that if you can get past that, and uh, I've had to, because seriously, that bothered me at, at the very beginning. I was like, whoa, whoa, dude. There's a baby deer. Normally, if there's a baby deer, there's also a mommy deer. Oh, that's not a baby deer. That's that's one of these, like, chamois or whatever they're called. Oh! <laughs> through the tree! Oh, yes! Now, uh, finally something that's small and we can actually pick up and go stick on our skinning bench to yield more. Yeah, but that's the thing, right? I mean, we are in a spacesuit. Look at this amazing shot right here. <laughs> We're in a spacesuit. But we get pneumonia in caves. Oh, the sun, the sun is going down. Wow, I didn't realize what time it was. It's a whole thing. I don't know. All right. Boop. And then we're going to craft a... I call it chamois. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Uh, is the game completely out now? Yes, it is, Jeffrey. It's out. Uh, they are currently... They're very active. The um, the devs um, are very active on it. So that's very good. There's They're releasing... Um, like lots of content over and over again. I'm gonna see if this thing burns down. I hope these things won't catch fire. I haven't tested it yet. Uh, every time I ask someone a question, I wonder if asking people questions is absolutely when you have uh, the internet available. No, I, you can ask questions here. If I don't know, then um, I don't know. I <laughs> I can find out. But yeah, I mean, I'm here right now, right? Why why go Google when you can just ask a simple questions? So questions are always welcome. And if I know, I will tell you. Unga Bunga, welcome, welcome. Is it multiplayer? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I think you can play uh, up to eight people. Sorry, my voice is kind of um, <laughs> don't do this to me now voice. Cough edit. I've been talking. I've been talking all day. Actually, I was singing at work today, so that may be what it is. My uh, my song voice is kind of worn out a little bit. Uh, Diamond, where's that? I saw Diamond. Hello, how are y'all doing tonight? Doing wonderful, Diamond. How are you doing? Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, the game is like 30 bucks, I think. Yes, it's not bad. Oh, you're... <laughs> okay, I got you. <laughs> no problem, Jeffy. Um, let's see. So, let's just sleep. Let's just sleep. Let's just make it daytime. 12 days left. 12 hours left on this. So... I don't know how successful the stream's going to be, really. I'd, I'd planned on getting, like, way further ahead than we are, but I'm not seeing much livestock. Or li I always call it livestock. Wildlife. Um, so, the thing is, I kind of like getting firearms going first, and I can go out there and just shoot everything. Is how I like to do it. Or at least a better bow, which reminds me. We can, uh, actually, oh! The, the spasticness. Uh, if we come here and stick iron in here, and coal we can craft steel bloom we can get that crafting because that's going to be made here in the concrete furnace after we make this con or the cement mixer and i just punched perfect uh i'm just always trying to think ahead here but um what was i saying i can't remember what i was talking about you guys um <laughs> what am i doing it's over here oh just not enough wood i like i just like shooting things that's how i roll uh, so let's come out here and uh, get some wood. Normally I'll have it all stockpiled up, but uh, I've been throwing. Um, the building this was super expensive. It costs iron, 
which is uh, nails, building the stone. It costs nails, leather, wood, and all the stone you think you can need. And a lot of wood, so... Uh-oh. There we go. Perfect. Let me just pick this up. Get some fiber. Alfibre. There we go. This this will fall on you and hurt you, by the way. And that one just went through the through the planet. No problem. And this guy's doing his own thing. Awesome. Uh, have you ever thought about going back to Valheim? I have. I uh, actually thoroughly enjoyed it. It just was not doing well at all. And at that time, my editing style was much more um, <laughs> involved. I was doing heavy edits on my videos. It was like I would play for an hour. I would edit for like six hours. And get to bed at like 4 a.m. For like 16 views tops. <laughs> it's, it wasn't sustainable. Um, but now the game's been out for a little while. It's, um, I may, I may go back to it. Let's see, is this a deer I can pick up? Large deers we can't. Hold to carry, so yeah. So if you can carry an animal, it's better to carry it and put it on the skinning bench, skinning table, because you yield more from it. Um, then you do skinning it on the spot. So let's see, what else is going on here in comments? Uh, doing fine, thanks for asking. Of course, of course. Is that your meat on the floor next to the fire? It is. We don't question it. We just kind of, you know, <laughs> it cooks it and then poops it out onto the floor right there. And, uh, you know, whatever. I uh, also want to gather up this charcoal because this is going to be very, very helpful if uh, we're encumbered now. Picking up charcoal. Awesome. Uh, remember, control, shift, click moves all of type over. So the gunpowder, which I've already crafted a hundred of them, it's charcoal and... Uh, this sulfur let's save some sulfur uh, just in case we need it for something else there you go <sighs> uh if you ever want somebody to play with uh just let me know i will i will it would be fun to get um, a group of people together right are we just all playing in the same world some people are you know you're on tree duty and then cave duty and all that kind of stuff. We just get together and I keep saying duty. <laughs> oh, we can craft this now. Okay, cement mixer. Uh, craft this. This is going to take... Um, do I have it? Silica. I know where some is. It's going to take silica ore and... I want to say... Polymer. Wait, what is this? It's uh, epoxy, I mean. Which we can make some more epoxy. Got that going. Oh, two. Nailed it. Uh, let's see. Let's just put it down and find out. And I think some stone as well. So we can stick it. Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> let's grab that. This. This. I approve your porch. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Isn't it cool? A little two stair. You can put railings on here too as well. You can put half walls. Um, I had like... A balcony with wooden uh, railings on it but every time a storm comes it always breaks my wood railings so i haven't um advanced into the uh half walls yet for stone so kind of running out of room to put these i think if i put it too close to these um tables they will burn it it will burn it down so <laughs> maybe just annoyingly right there in the middle of the room I just, we're just gonna go with that there we go right there and then we could take this bad boy and a boop him right there uh so concrete yeah is stone silica oh and tree sap that's why i need tree sap so for so if we take sticks let's just make it all why would you not make all the tree sap stick it over there tree sap max 92 not bad epoxy uh we can make one epoxy let's grab some more bone all the bone because we're just gonna need it all uh and then this as well this this the busy box gets real here you guys <laughs> you gotta stay on top of things there's more sticks there's a, more stone in there. there's even more sticks so what's gonna do with this this is a good way to level up too the uh, mortar and pestle is super cheap you can um, do all sorts of like it's easy to gather sticks you just go out there and you just you just run around like this and you get fiber and sticks and there's random sticks laying around and there's these uh like little trees right here you can grab it gives you a bunch of sticks and you also get sticks from chopping down trees. So sticks isn't hard to come by. Here's one right here. 
and you can just build a mortar and pestle and just crap uh <laughs> crap no <laughs> craft the crap out of this tree sap and it's like 10 xp per and this is like oh 8 xp per sorry and you can just level up pretty quick if you're low level uh on Val valheim that would be yeah oh uh I can't remember. Is Valheim multiplayer? I can't remember if it is or not. Uh, you're giving me too many uh, ideas for building. Yeah, boop that thing. That's right. 100. Oh, now we're talking. Nice. Nice. I'm loving... Actually, um, I'm enjoying myself in this stream. I'm not like trying to think of things to say. I just talk about the game and it's fantastic. So we need uh, iron over here. We actually have some objectives too. I, that's very rare for me. I usually don't have objectives. I'm like, we're going live. <laughs> no clue what I'm doing, but my brain hurts. And for some reason, when my brain hurts, I get like super focused. Uh, focused? Is that, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it didn't sound right. Oh, words. Okay, so we have 200. Dude, look at this tree sap. 200 tree sap. I think that goes over here, right? Yeah. Stick that in there. Stick that in there. We need, um... Let's see. Uh... I'll show you this, too, real quick. We have 100 wood. They stack to 100. So when you have 100... When you have a stack of uh, wood or stone, 100 of them, you can craft these piles. Which go here. And you can just place them anywhere. You can kind of use them as walls, as protection for a while. They do take damage. Uh, but now you've got a hundred right there that's not clogging up your storage inside or your inventory. You can just come out here whenever you need it, hold down F, and you get a hundred of them. So pretty cool. So you can actually, like, stack these three or four high. Really as high as you can get, you can keep stacking them up. And then make a wall of them around, like, a garden or something like that. There's something over here that needs to die. Um, hello, Praf. Welcome, welcome. Uh, very nice Star Citizen videos, by the way. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm having so much fun over there. Did I not? There's a baby deer. I'd rather not go after the baby one. I'm just gonna Bambi it and go after the, the mom. Now can we pick this up? Oh, I feel bad right now. And everybody look away. Three, look away. Two, get owned. Okay, all right, well. <laughs> there's a baby deer right there. Sometimes I like to do this old maneuver. Pick him up, drag him. <laughs> pick him up, drag him. We can't carry both at the same time. Uh, once you have something on your hip, right there, this floppy deer. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Be careful what you're queuing as well. If you're holding a tool, you will drop it. I've dropped many a good iron tools. Running from a bear trying to find W and I hit, uh, I hit Q and I dropped my, like, amazing spear. <laughs> It is, it is a co-op. Uh, co okay, I couldn't remember if it was or not. Firebird, past 6 a.m. for now. Have a good night, all. Uh, Firebird, have a wonderful one. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Let me go pick up the baby deer over here. Uh, it was somewhere. I tried to put it on the dirt so we can spot it. Yes, right here. Boop. Uh, by the way, what's this game about? Survival and... Uh, Missions. Completing missions. So currently right now, our objective is... It's called a prospect in this game. Our objective is to... Um, gather resources for our... Um, space station. We are on a... We come from a space station down to Icarus. That's the name of this planet. And then we just kind of do stuff here. Um, currently right now, we are trying to gather up 600 cooked meat, 1,000 fur, and 1,200 leather. Stick it on this... Um, pod to send up back to the space station. And then uh, we're going to have to do one more down here and it's like produce. It's like um, pumpkins and melons and all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of what we're working on. Also, uh, while at the same time leveling up. Let's see. Let's stick that right there. Stick this over here. So we got we got 23 meat. Um, let's go ahead and eat one of those just because uh, this is all going on the... Oh, that's a good leather run right there, isn't it? It's all going to go on that pod to send back up. Um, so... Uh, you can't... You cannot fly in the game. No, it's, um... It's an animation. You do... You do get on... Like, here's our pod that we landed here on. 
you land here it's basically nothing you got to gather resources and you can kind of like go through the uh the tech tree here build you know unlock every time you level up you unlock points you can spend those points you have a finite amount i got 15 available but you can unlock uh like fiber structures or thatch progress to wood uh progress to stone and then concrete glass all that kind of stuff so you build stuff um to survive and then when you're done when you've completed your objective then you go back to uh that this thing and you go back up to the station and it's basically you've completed that level uh gonna head out getting tired glad i could finally uh talk to you in stream yeah uh troll thank you so much for being here i appreciate it it's fun talking um i hope you enjoy the game if you get it and then uh yeah we should definitely play sometime it'll be a lot of fun So I don't know how much longer I'm going to be uh, streaming tonight. I I never really know. I always say that. And I always go for like <laughs> three hours. I don't think it's going to be that long tonight. I kind of want to just progress. I was going to play this anyway, anyway, like I said, but I kind of want to progress with you guys. Because this is stuff I'd be doing by myself alone. And uh, it's easy for me to kind of zone out and do it. But it's also fun to have people here to talk to. Excuse me? You want to go, bro? I didn't think so. Look at all the pumpkins. Wow, there's pumpkins galore. Oh. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, a, a lightning storm is coming in. Baby deer, get owned. Baby deer, get owned. There you go. <laughs> um, Yeah, the only reason I'm doing so much killing is we need the leather. Oh, this is this is going to be a bad one, you guys. We need the, uh, the leather. Oh! Uh-oh. And the fur, and we're out in the lightning storm. We gotta move. We gotta move quick, you guys. Uh, and also, you get your arrow back when you skin these things. So, oh lordy! All right. Uh, <laughs> let me know if it's too loud. These storms, like I keep saying that, the storms get super loud. Cooked meat, fur, right there. That was a good little run. We're at 114 cooked meat out of 600. 478 fur out of 1,000. Almost halfway there. We are so close on leather, it's not even funny. Okay. Wow. Oh, it's getting... It's getting real! Oh, stamina. Oh, make it back. Make it back. Uh-oh! Okay. <laughs> oh, don't break a leg. Don't break a leg. Make it back down. So, the, the fire... Whoa, dude. The fire is going to spread like crazy. And that's what happened. Move, bro. That's what happened right here. All these trees are burnt. <laughs> oh, 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 lordy lord. Let's get inside. Uh, I'm going to get inside and then uh, the screen's going to flash real quick. So I'm going to turn the game sound down just a little bit. Oh, it looks like our pumpkins may be done. Ooh. But uh, stone structure, that's where it's at. You, it, it won't take damage from storms, so perfect. And then, uh, hold on just a second, you guys. Sorry. I want to turn it down just a little bit. Um, I usually play in windowed so I can tab out and it doesn't flash like that. But uh, performance... Oh, that got lit on fire, too. For performance, um, I was doing full screen. Okay, so this is done. We can turn that off. Uh, what time is it? It's 11.21. In game? Dude, the storm out there. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, so uh, we needed silica. We went out for silica. We did not find any silica. We're going to have to go back out again after the storm. Uh, actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to craft these bad boys up while this loud, amazing storm uh, does its thing. We can actually max these. We can craft five of these. Oh, it's close. Oh, wow. Okay. Don't strike me. Don't strike me. I've never been struck by lightning in game or in real life, uh, for that matter. But I think it can happen. Okay, and the storm's, the storm's gone. Nice. We're just going to stack these bad boys up. Right there. And that way it frees up our inventory. Right? Which is amazing. 
Um, right there. And actually, we're going to grab... We're going to take the 80 that we have and stick it in here. Storm's gone. We still got some daylight left. So let's go find some silica. Usually, um, it's up against a wall. Some kind of ridge like this. Uh, but in case you guys are just joining in, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And then instantly, I went silent because now we're hunting. Oh! Dusk pop! I did not mean there's silica right there. Dude, that guy's gone. Did you guys see that? There was a little, like, chamois guy. Whatever they're called. Let's grab some of this uh, sulfur. Sulfur is really good for the... Uh, uh, Bullets for crafting gunpowder. We can get the shotgun shells online. A nice 12 gauge. And then we just start shooting everything. I haven't seen any bears yet, but it is... The, oh, this isn't silica. This is coal. Coal is really good, too. Boop. Um, and then we're kind of advancing. And kind of all's for naught, right? Dude, the sound... Amazing. Um, because as soon as this prospect is over, we're going to lose everything. But we've got 12 days left, so we're going to be here for a little while, right? So might as well make the best of it and kind of level up. Now we just need some silica. Which is always around here. Here we go. There we go. Now we can start advancing. Um, so I'm pretty sure that if you log out... And you're logged out for a little while and you log back in. A lot of these resources, they do respawn. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if they've changed that or not. I haven't confirmed it, but it has been that way for me. So, pro tip, pretty cool. This is oxide. This is for our oxygen. We don't need that right now because we've advanced. I have plenty of that. We are oxygenating with this. A bladder made from deer hide. And... Also got to go check my farming crop plot as well. Oh, right there. Yes. Perfect. Boop. And then, um, I guess we can, we can carry this guy. We're not too far. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and, um, skin this guy and then we can carry that other one. That way we get two. Boop. Uh, troll, did I, I don't think I, if you're still here, I'm so sorry. I'm just seeing the last part of your comment. Uh, do I know when my next, uh, stream is going to be? I, uh, I don't really know. The next stream's probably going to be Star Citizen. I like to kind of alternate. Um, if I would have released the Icarus video today, I would have streamed Star Citizen. Uh, Star Citizen is my go-to stream, but if I release a Star Citizen video that day, then uh, I will stream Icarus. Usually. Usually. But sometimes I can't get enough Star Citizen. We just have to like... Sometimes you just have to Star Citizen. You know what I'm saying? Oh! Another one! He's gone. <laughs> Whatever. Um, still looking for... Here we go. Here's some right here. So, um, Praf, one of the things about this is every prospect, they're all different lengths of time, like amounts of time. This one happens to be, we have 12 days left. I, I feel like it was started off with a 15 day. Um, but some of them, they're, oh, some of them are six days. Some of them are seven days. Some of them are like six hours. Um, but when the, oh, that was way too high. Hold on. When the prospect is over, nailed it, um, you have to either complete your objectives, dude, I see you, or um, get back to your pod right here and go back up into space. If you don't, um, basically a perma storm, as soon as that timer goes out across the top of the screen, uh, a perma storm comes through and it destroys everything. And, uh, including your current character. I don't think they've changed that. I think it's still the same. 
Can I pick this up? No, we can't. So we just gotta skin this. I just thought of a joke. Uh, would you like to hear it? Yes, I would. I love jokes. Yes, diamond. <laughs> oh, I hear another wolf. <laughs> you say you want to hear a joke? The stream. Hey, oh. <laughs> I feel, I feel like we're not advancing very, very well tonight. Uh, it's probably because my brain hurts, to be honest with you guys. I uh, had to do a lot of thinking at work today. Here we go. Um, there. Now we can make concrete. Now we need 20. That's 12. Ah, oh, what are we missing? We are going to be missing... Maybe... Stone. Just grab this. Stick it in there. Is that what we were missing? A little bit. Now we're probably going to be missing... Um, tree sap? 100? What do you call a non-citizen in Star Citizen? I don't know. What do you, what do you call it? I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so here's... Oh, 23. Perfect. Okay, now we can bring this over here. Um, 23. It's a little dark. I'm going to turn this on for you guys. There we go. Better. Even though it's daytime. Illegal alien. <laughs> nice. You just made that up? Oh, I love that. Wow. Uh, <laughs> okay. We've got... We need epoxy. Um, we have epoxy. We have one epoxy. What? Oh, I, we, we can make more. There we go. Okay. So epoxy right there. Right there. Oh, we're almost there, you guys. Concrete furnace. Love it. And then we can stick our uh, steel... Bloom, uh, which we have six. We're going to need like 20 of those as well. Craft all that. Get this queued up. Uh, more epoxy right there. This is um, iron and coal. So let's just grab this over here. Right there. Right there. Max 14. Uh, Jimmy Fulton. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much for uh, subscribing. I really appreciate you. What's up, Big Phoenix? How's it going, buddy? Uh, let's see. We should probably eat. I haven't ate in some time. Uh, we can cook this up, too, because we got to take it over there to uh, the little guy. This guy. Because we're currently working on 600 cooked meat to send back to a space station. 1,000 fur and 1,200 leather. Leather? We're almost there. Yay, dad jokes. I love dad jokes. <laughs> I love them so much. Uh, good. How about you? I'm doing very well. I had a, a big day at work today, so I'm feeling a little tired. If I seem a little, um, I don't know, a little more spacey, that's why. Uh, let's see. I grabbed the sulfur for something. No, no, I mined the sulfur, so... That doesn't take sulfur. This takes sulfur. Might as well stick it in here, right? So we're crafting all of the gunpowder, which actually goes in here, right? For the shotgun shell? Yeah, right there. Oh, we just need copper and we can start making the shotgun shells. Nice. We can make a rifle round right now. Actually, never made the rifle. We need steel. 40 steel. This one takes 26 steel. So less expensive. Uh, how'd my prison time go? It, just, it it went fantastic, honestly. I just, um... <laughs> I recorded a lot of videos, or a lot of a video, and then I shot that good guard in the face, and then it canceled out my mission, and I was like, I'm done. I'm done. I woke up in prison, and I was like, you know what? Let me, uh... Let me just throw something together real quick. 
I edited that, got it uploaded, and I just went to bed. So the prison time, I'm sure if I logged in right now, I'd be out of prison because it happens real time, right? Like even when I'm logged off, the prison sentence, it still ticks away. So there's only four hours on it. And that happened last night at like 11 o'clock. So, um, let's see. We're going to go look for, oh no, brain farts. I think I, oh, that's what, that's where we came out here. I heard something. I was like, let's go hunt. We need to hunt. And just like that, they're gone. Oh, no. Right there. Everybody quiet. He's long gone. Again. Um, probably going to run into a bear or a wolf. <laughs> Gotta love the gravy and cottage cheese with a side of lemon. <laughs> I, I looked at that. I was like, what even is... There he goes. I was like, what is this stuff? That was the first thing that came into my brain. <laughs> and there's like random water dripping. I guess because the uh, clusters... It's technically like inside of an asteroid, right? Is that right? So there's a bunch of moisture. Oh! Oh, love it. Now, this is a large deer, so we can't pick him up. Oh, no, we can. Sweet. Nice. It seems like I've been shooting all the, the wildlife that I can't pick up. It's nice to be able to pick up a dead wildlife every once in a while. Dude, I am beast mode engaged right now. I took my creatine today. <laughs> Got my weight gainer. Yeah, let's go. Breakfast of champions. Yeah. <laughs> Just get some uh, cottage cheese, pour some gravy on top, and then squeeze a lemon over it. Mmm, delash. <laughs> it looks so gross. Okay, here we go. Let's craft a deer. Boop and boop. And that's going to give us 30 leather. Oh, we're getting so close, you guys. So close. Oh, you know what? We only need 1,200 leather. And we're at 1,049, so uh, there's there's 1,100 right there. 11, uh, dude. Dude, I think we're there on the leather. The meat, uh, 13 out of... Wait, hold on. 600, we have 114 meat. We need 600, yeah. So not very good on the meat and slow going on the fur. The meat, I just need to stop eating it. And I'm a, very much of a carnivore, so it's very hard to do. Uh, what were we gonna do? We're gonna we're working on crafting this, so the epoxy, that's what we need. <laughs> 72 of it. Um there you go. Now we can craft this guy. Uh we are gonna craft this. We can't I mean we can use it, but um Okay, what? Not oh, here. We don't have dude, look how bright it is in here. This is epic. And this torch isn't even on. Oh, there's no fuel. Give me fuel. Give me fire. There we go. And right there. How bright does this get? Oh! Sunglasses, everybody. We could be those streamers that wear shades for whatever reason. Because their screens are so bright. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> I'm going to drop off this fur and this leather just to get it out of our inventory. Uh, it's four, it's 15 o'clock. Yeah, it's 1500. We got, we got time. 15 o'clock. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Whoa. Have to go change my spacesuit. Keep that up. There is a wolf over here somewhere. There's a pumpkin over there. Nice. Um, the wolves. There he is. They are great for fur. Oh. Right here. Uh, Gooder says, let's craft a deer. Me? <laughs> is this a deer? <laughs> yes. Oh. Dude. Stop it. This guy's trolling me, dude. Oh, another wolf. Um, yeah, th this is how this is how animals were made. In case you guys were wondering, uh, 
The space station sends down a contractor to go to an alien planet to kill the wildlife, sticks him on a table and says, I made wolf. What's really funny is uh, a few updates ago, whenever you stuck the animals on here, they were like rigid. They had like rigor mortis and they just like stiff, like stood up. It looks like taxidermy kind of. It was, <laughs> it was really funny. I'd stick a big deer on there and like the antlers would be sticking out the roof. It was great. We're just going to cook all this up because uh, we need all the meat. We've already gone through that. <sighs> Once his mate back in. <laughs> Uh, new goodish gamer quote. <laughs> Let's craft a deer. <laughs> Big Phoenix, you're giving me all these ideas uh, for merch. I need to put all my quotes on merch. <laughs> Speaking of merch, I don't, I'm not, uh, that wasn't a segue. It wasn't, not an intentional segue, but I do have merch. There should be a link on the, uh, in the description or if you hit exclamation all lowercase merch, I think. But I'm not telling you guys to go over there. Don't, don't, uh, you know, don't do anything you guys don't want to do. Whoop. But. Oh! Oh! <laughs> so close! Uh, but yeah, I do, I do want to do, uh, do you want to do? I do, do, do want to do, uh, some more merch. That's not just my logo, but, like, some of my sayings. Yeah, but some of my sayings aren't really some of my sayings, you know, like nailed it. That's not, that's not trademarked by me. That's, that's actually a thing. Let's craft another wolf. There we go. Now there's two wolves. And a storm. Oh, flash storm. Nice. Right when we're about to leave. Good thing to get this over with. Um, we don't have any copper, so we can't craft a lightning rod, but it hasn't been an issue. Uh, is there official goodish gamer quote encyclopedia? No, no, there's not. Um, I just kind of like, it's just a bunch of like, um, I can never think of words, you know, like that's just how my brain works. And I was like, let's start a YouTube channel. <laughs> so you get a lot of like boop that and bop this and squirt that and squirge and squirkle and it's a square circle, by the way, is a squirkle. It's just like random things. Stamina. <laughs> oh, Villagent. Villagent's a good one, too. That That's that's the goodish gamer right there. That is trademarked. We must remain Villagent! Oh, that... <laughs> Dude. Oh, the kill cam while the lightning bolt came down. I don't know where this guy's at. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, oh, good. Oh, good. We got it. We got it. I was looking for the merchant description. Uh to look at it and then saw the word merch stood there for a second and said yep that's not what I'm looking for good shot thank you thank you crafting a CHMO I just call it chamois I don't know I don't know what it is it looks like a a goat deer it's a gear it's a dote oh uh, we got more meat and then we're gonna have 12 more right there. This is gonna yield more meat. And oh, we're, I think we're good on the leather, honestly. Whoa, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. That. That was using a wolf as a shelter, yeah. <laughs> that was too close. We need to close the door too. I think things will uh, take damage, weather damage if the uh, door is open. Get owned. Shammy. Uh, better than hard works, yeah. I can't carry this one, but we can skin it. Okay. Tauntauns, yeah. You thought they smelled bad from the ass side. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good lord. Oh, I just pooped my pants. Live on stream. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Things are happening! <laughs> Do dodge, dip, dive, duck! <sighs> okay, hold on. I think I just woke up everybody in the house. Oh. My god. <sighs> I'm seeing spots right now. Oh. Did the lightning hit my pumpkin? Hey! 
Help me, Tom Cruise. I'm on fire. Oh, dude. Uh, that was that was a lot that just happened right there. I just became some roadkill. Yeah, I got struck by lightning on stream. <clears throat> okay. Let's go. We got this guy right here. Nope. Nope. Whatever, dude. Get out of here. Oh, wolf. He jumped in the lake during the lightning storm while on fire. Yeah. The <laughs> I mean, it's like, I'm, I don't know. I thought, I thought I was dead either way. Um, I grabbed what I thought was a lesser of two evils while on fire in a lightning storm. So clarity wasn't really a thing at that, in that moment. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we need any more leather. We're doing good. 200. We already had a thousand. We need 1200. Yeah. So we're going to keep the leather here. Cause we're going to need it for other crafting things. Meat. Um, it's about to be dark. I don't think we can make it over there and back in time. Yeah, probably not. So let's just wait. Let's light it up, up, up. This base is on fire. I don't know. It looks it looks bright, but it's deceiving. It gets dark super quick. I don't even know what I'm aiming at. Um. Yeah, look. See, it's already starting to get dark. Stare into the sun, guys. So I know at 1800 we can we can sleep. What do we got over here? We needed um more silica. I don't think we need any more. Um because we crafted the 20. What was it? Concrete to craft the concrete furnace, which I have not put down yet. <laughs> Good one, goodish. No, wait, yeah, I did. No, I didn't. It's in my, it's in my inventory. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Not that. I'm going to do this. And then we're going to pick this up because I don't really need it right now, right? I don't know what else I need concrete for until we get into, like... Um, I think it's the... I don't even know. This stuff, right? No, we don't even need it for that. It's platinum. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wow. Oh, wow. A lot of, a lot of comments while I'm talking to myself over here. Uh, good stream was not expecting this. T Bone, welcome, T Bond. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. A little bit slower stream tonight. Um, I had a big day at work and my brain hurts. Uh, Native Americans designed their tents during a storm. Uh, so lightning wouldn't hit them. Interesting. So your spacesuit isn't fire resistant and you can get pneumonia. <laughs> what kind of spacesuits are they issuing now? Yeah, look, and it's even an upgraded one. It's a tier, it's a tier two, dude. It's a, it's a S5X that I bought by completing missions. I bought it up on the space station. Um, yeah, and it's still, <laughs> I still get hit with all the elements. Okay, so let's sleep real quick and then wake up instantly. I feel like that's me in real life. I'm just like, I'm in bed. Now I'm awake. Turn these off. Uh, actually turn these on while I figure this out. We need more oxygen and water. So let's get this going before we head on out. Oxygenate me. Oh, it is early morning here. Throw that one in there. Grab this one. Stick it in my suit. Boop. Uh, come over here. This should be done now. Perfect. Stick that in our suit. We're good to go. Ish. Um, let's. Let's just start storing some of this stuff. That, that, that. That. Cough at it. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. I think you might like, uh, some games called Bloons Tower Defense 6 or Battles 2. Uh, I like tower defense games. I like playing those. Those are fun. This, get rid of it. Who needs spoiled meat? Not this guy. 
Uh, you can use it for some recipes, but we're not going to. Look at all, dude. We can put some of this stuff away too. We don't need all this because uh, we've met our quota for leather. We need 151 more. We're bringing over 200. I don't know what's going on here. Um, it's one of my most most used sayings. Welcome to uh, welcome to my life. That's that's a good one too. That and well, that just happened. <laughs> And then uh, probably ish. Ish is like a very good descriptor, isn't it? It it kind of gets the point across without getting all nerdy in depth with it. I'm like, yeah, that's it. Ish, which means it's like, it's correct, but then it may not be. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you need uh, you need the Artemis suit. <gasps> Dear. Hopefully we can get more fur. That would be epic if we could just. be done with the fur right here uh where are here they are okay so they're both next to shoot uh <laughs> shoot. <laughs> i cannot talk oh i'm sorry everybody and then those watching afterwards like this guy has a youtube channel <laughs> hello i thought i heard a wolf disregard the hello uh you need windows. I have windows. Um, I just need to open them. Looks sexy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're heading up this way. Dude, my voice. If you leave me now, I won't be able to finish the stream. Okay, uh, also like the meh and ish a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Meh. Uh, my meh has kind of turned into a, uh, almost a duck call. And we are way off trajectory. It's over this way. It used to be meh. And then it was like, uh, Minecraft villagers, like, meh. And now it's kind of, um, uh, evolved into meh. <laughs> Fish ish. <laughs> You can put it on anything, right? It's awesome. Uh, Star Citizen looks different. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, if, if uh, I've said it before in streams and I always get in trouble for people watching afterwards. I'm so sorry. It's nothing against you guys watching after the fact. Talking about other games. Oh, we did it. We did it. See, look over their left side. Oh, another storm. Yeah, 12. So leather is done. Meat uh, is not done. We're getting close ish and then uh fur we're over halfway down to fur so not bad what's i talking about oh uh talking about different games in a uh um in a in a stream for a different video game meta guitar plus goodish singing masterpiece you got that right i can play guitar too uh something else you guys probably didn't know about me i don't know why you would i never said it um i am a guitar hero I can play guitar in real life. Oh, get on! And uh, also, you guys remember the video game Guitar Hero? I can play Through the Fire and Flames on Expert. Like, that was me. And I could even use my hands. I'd put them over the neck and push the buttons that way. Like, serious. Like, I was legit at it. I'm not even joking. Oh, get owned! And now it's not really a thing anymore. And um, I don't know what to do with my life anymore. So I started a YouTube channel playing not Guitar Hero. <laughs> Uh, you better on guitar or drums? I'm better on drums. I just naturally, uh, I picked up drums and I just, one day I sat down on a left-handed drum set and I was like, oh my gosh, I can play drums. And I was like, I'm going to go buy a drum set. Do I buy left-handed or right-handed? I went right-handed. <clears throat> Excuse me, pardon me. And that just seems to be the the <laughs> the right way to go. <laughs> um, so yeah, I play, uh, metal music is my, is my uh, forte on the drums blast beats and then uh guitar i'm good at guitar but i don't know what i'm doing on guitar i just kind of like know what sounds good and what fret sounds good on on what string and kind of find my way around there so <laughs> i'm not a lefty no i'm i'm i play right-handed but uh i was at a friend's house and they had a left-handed drum set which was really weird and i just sat down i was like i can play drums who knew 
and has kind of uh, evolved from there. Is it a Metallica cover band? Um, I've played through Megadeth albums, Pantera albums. Oh, dude, that torch scared me. My gosh. Okay, there we go. Boop, and we're just booping the meat on the fire right there. Uh, yes, Diamond. Uh, music video coming out soon. <laughs> my best singing. My wife says I can actually really sing, but I never take it seriously because I get embarrassed. Um, but my best singing is probably in the back of the Freelancer Max, to be honest with you guys. It just has that, it has that echo, right? <laughs> so you can play left-ish? Yeah, I can. <laughs> uh, the way the deer flopped, right? <laughs> Nikki. Yeah. The uh, animations are amazing. We also have meat. Meet me, bro. Or not. <laughs> uh, let's see. So it's 9 a.m. Little morning mist showers. Got some leaves in my face. That's, bra that's not a problem. Um, I'm just trying to think of what... I just walked over my crop plot. You know what we need to do? We need to fill that thing up. I don't know if... Um, if the stuff there, like once it fully um, grows, if then it uh, it disappears, if I haven't plucked it or harvested it in amount in a allotted amount of time, or if lightning struck it and destroyed it, I don't really know. I am completely new to farming, and that just went in there, but it's not in the inventory. I do not know how to farm. I don't know what to do with my hands. So we're just going to shoot things. Uh, the goodest drummer band? Yeah, I should. I've thought about doing like uh, videos of me um, playing drums and that kind of stuff. Because I, I, I write music too. But I don't know how that works on YouTube. I don't know like copyright and all that kind of stuff. I just don't know how it works. I steer clear of it. Um... Turn it into a portable stage and play for all of Star Citizen. I need to. I need to. I need to land my Freelancer Max on top of the downed javelin on Daymar, and just belt it out into the verse. I love how earlier you said, um, "I can't care." Uh, this one proceeds to break it apart and carry everything. <laughs> my mom throws everything into her crock plot. <laughs> That's a, that's a good, I mean, that's, that's a good thing to do though. Croc, croc, pots. You're gonna have me saying croc plot now. Instapods where it's at. Yes. So I got the ninja foodie. Dude. Uh, don't get me started on food, you guys. Um, I'm all in the, um, Instapod. <laughs> I'm all in the, uh, throw a bunch of stuff together to make some delicious dishes. Um, that's kind of how... I like to do things because uh, my wife, my wife cooks a lot, but I, I like, I really enjoy cooking. So I cook when I can and I used to cook a lot more when I started YouTube and I don't have any time to do anything anymore, but it's more fun than cooking. Uh, hold on. It's uh, midnight and there's motion at my front door. Let's go check this out. Who are you? Oh, it's a, it's a kitty cat. The Ninja Toaster is really nice. Oh, that's cool. I have the foodie, and then we also have the, um, the grill. So the foodie air fries, pressure cooks, and crock plots. But, um, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. So I'll, like, pressure cook some chicken, and then I take it out, and I'll pat it off, and I'll hammer it down. Unless it's thighs. I just keep it as is, because the dark meat's delicious. And I'll do my dry rub on it, and I'll stick it in the air fryer. Dude. Oh, hello. I'm not, I, I, I can shoot baby deer in the game, but I just, I can't bring myself to shoot rabbits. I don't know what it is. That was epic. Thumbs up for that one. I don't even know what's happening. That, de that deer was laying down. Oh, oh, uh, what are, get out of here. Distract me. That's how you get away from the good gamer. <gasps> what? Deer. This way. Oh, you know what I did, you guys? I bought, um, what the crap is this? Oh, I know you guys are chatting, but I'm deer this way. Uh, <clears throat> um, 
I see. Ninja Toaster, do you have a do you have a go-to dad meal? I make some amazing chicken. I'm not even joking you. So, um, <laughs> there's so many tangents right now. <laughs> I, let me, I'm, I'll get back to that one real quick. Uh, finish my thought real quick on the other one. Um, I started playing Hunter Call of the Wild. That's a lot of fun. I'm thinking about putting that on my After Dark channel. So now that thought's over with. It reminded me of that when I was tracking that deer. Uh, let's see. The meal, uh, there's a meal in my country where you throw a bunch of, uh, ground foods called an oil down. That sounds amazing. Uh, you seem to enjoy hunting aspect of this game. Have you tried Hunter Call of... Oh, David Miller, you just said it. I didn't even see your comment. <laughs> <I've>... <laughs> yes, I did. I have played it. Um, so, funny story. I played it for three hours. Yeah, I was hunting moose. Um, I could never find the moose. And uh, it was three hours of me going like, well, guys, I'm so far. I'm still tracking this moose. And I was going in circles forever. And I looked on the map and I had my little footsteps, my little footprints all over the great minds. That's right, David. <laughs> yeah, right. And um, uh, yeah, I was getting lost and I ended up rage quitting. So I think what happened was I didn't play the tutorial. The meese. That's it. I said that like 12 times in the video, too, that you guys will never see because I won't release it. It's terrible. But I was like... <laughs> Like there's a bunch of meese over there. <laughs> oh man, it was uh, it was great. It was great. I ended up quitting, and my wife was like, "Did you get a video done?" I was like, "Ah, uh, no one will ever see it. It's too much editing." And because I ended up rage quitting, I never like completed it. And I said, I even said like 32 times inside the in in the video, I was like, "I'm gonna catch this mouse." Oh my gosh, this moose if it kills me. Uh, and I never did, so I didn't want to die, so I just quit. Got killed by a bear in the game, too. In Hunter Call of the Wild? Or in Icarus? The bears in Icarus are no joke. I did see a black bear in Hunter, um, but they always ran. You hate Mises to pieces? <laughs> Dated cartoon reference. Oh, what is... I'm getting a, an alert, a phone alert. In both those games. Okay, yeah. Uh, what's I talking about? Oh, I saw a black bear in a hunter, but it kept everything was running from me, and I would get a shot off on a moose, meese, <laughs> moosen, and and, <laughs> and I would track it for hours. And um, yeah, default gun. That's all I had. I, I found a scope and a default gun. And jokes on me. My gosh. I was like, I'm going to play this new game. It's going to be incredible. Look how beautiful it is. Three hours later of hunting a moose. And you guys know me. If you guys have seen, it, if, if seen anything about The Goodish Gamer, shiny objects will derail me faster than anything. Level up, my bro. What's I talking about? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd be tracking a moose. And it's like, oh, well, there's a black bear. And I'd be tracking off on the black bear. And I was like, wait, there's a rabbit. No, screw the jackrabbit. Oh, this is a, a white-tailed deer. And then like an hour later, I'm looking at a black tail. And I was like, man, I thought I was, hunt I thought I was tracking a white tail. It was, um... <laughs> I'm sure it'd be entertaining if I wasn't <laughs> if I wasn't so pissed through the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, ooh, shiny. Ooh, shiny object. Ooh, shiny object. Ooh, shiny object. Uh, so we'll stick that right there and then boop that. We're out of fuel. Oh, uh, what happens? I wonder if we pull this out underneath two stacks of, oh, oh, that's neat. And then we lose one to the water. Okay. I actually never tried that. And then, uh, more meat right there. Got to keep that going. We got to keep the fur going. Uh, and then right here, we'll pick this up. Press to interact. Oh, that's cool. It keeps the stack. Oh, neato. Neato, dudo. Why is there... Are you seeing that? Why is there a ramp down there? Wait, what? Why is there a ramp selected? Are you guys seeing this? That was weird. Okay. Let's just not question it. Just stack that up there. Haphazardly. There we go. 
sorry, am I squatting down? I am, okay, I was like, why am I not moving? Um, let's stick this guy, do that torch in the middle, middle of my room though. Stick that guy in storage, we don't need it, who needs it? Uh, you should have used a shotgun. I didn't have a shotgun. Um, go to dad meal chicken. So, uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, me and you are the same about shiny objects. I was playing a game with some friends and a random person. And they all had died while I was like 500 meters away. Explain part of the map. <laughs> yeah. All right. Stars, uh, stars is a prospector mining done and a night for tuning in. Uh, so turn it in. Okay. Well, David Miller, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and uh, I hope you got a lot of uh, prospecting ore done. So, you should make a shirt with a stick man on it that says, Ooh, shiny object with a building burning down. <laughs> oh, Diamond, I love that. Uh, I may steal that. I may steal that idea. I'll credit you. So, um, chicken. My, uh... I make some amazing chicken. So I, I made a mission in life. Um, I used to do bodybuilding as well. Um, maybe I'll post a picture on my Instagram sometime of me back in the day. Uh, like pretty beefy. So I was on the whole bodybuilding diet. I was doing all that kind of stuff. Uh, working out like two hours a day, 5 a.m. in the morning, going to do like my squats. And you know, I was I was dedicated for sure. Um, so I used to eat just chicken after chicken, after chicken, and broccoli, and uh, brown rice. And it got to the point to where chicken would trigger my gag reflexes, but it's really, I mean, it's great protein, right? It's bioavailable, uh, low fat. It's amazing. I'm talking. I'm just kind of opening doors and doing stuff. So let's kind of focus here. Uh, we have that. Let's go drop this off while we're here. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, bodybuilding. I did all that, and I say all that to say... Um, I think I already said it. I ate a bunch of chicken all the time. So. Map. Right there. Um, I made it a mission in life. To. Make chicken not suck, basically. To make it delicious and not dry and bland. So now. I did a lot of testing. Since I'm not body bodybuilding anymore, I'm not measuring my fat intake and all that kind of stuff, my macros. I uh, I just kind of eat whatever I want. Now I got a dad bod, and I'm kind of proud of it. But uh, I always do chicken thighs. If you guys want tasty chicken, just disregard the nutritional facts and just eat good chicken. Go with the thighs. Because there's dark meat on there, it's skin. So I always get bone in, skin on chicken thighs right and i take just the right amount of paprika garlic powder salt a little splash a little dash of cumin and um i'll like sometimes i'll i'll use that as my dry rub but it has to be like i can't tell you like how much of each because i i very much just cook based off of instinct and um taste and it's um I don't know. It, it always just turns out really good. But like my mom and different people would be like, can I have that recipe? It's delicious. Like, I, don't, I don't I don't know. A dash of this, a, a, a smidge of that. I'm out of arrows. Well, it's finally happened. Wow. Great. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, that is a great little uh, flavor palette right there. Now, I also, I also um, pro tip here, you guys, if you don't, excuse me, I just burped. Uh, if you guys don't know, brine if you're doing thanksgiving turkey if you're making chicken whether it's a breast or a thigh brine that chicken b t c what if i could sneak up on this guy and pick him a pickaxe him no nope, we can't <laughs> i've been made he's gone i didn't follow blitz's advice about arrows oh i love blitz but i didn't um i didn't see that one but no, I did not. <laughs> so I always, yes, always Brian. Thank you. Yes, someone else gets, I'm, I'll am i be like, yeah, Brian it. And everyone just kind of looks at me, scratching their head like, are they what? <laughs> Brian it. Brian that chicken or BTS. Brian that, okay, anyway. Um, 
the arrows are expensive. So I've just been using the bone arrows, or the, uh, not the bone arrows, the stone arrows, like a, like a noob, like a noob dude. Um, we're not going to get sticks from this because it's terrible charcoal. Uh, but yeah, that's the thing. Like good food, what, regardless of what it is, this is the this is the reality. Good food is in the prep. If you prep it right, if you give it the old TLC before making it, preparing to make it, it's going to taste good. If it's like spur of the moment, you're like, I'm making chicken breast tonight, and you stick a chicken breast in the oven to be healthy. It's going to cook unevenly because they always, they're always tear shaped, right? They're always thinner on one side and thicker in the middle. So you get dry tip and barely a 165 degree internal temperature on it. Juicy center, or you maybe you just dry out the whole thing. So at the very least fillet it, butterfly it, right? And open it up. Uh, I always say at the very least, hammer it down. I don't even know if people are still watching right now, <laughs> but uh, like get a mallet like a uh, a kitchen mallet and um hammer your chicken htc there you go hammer or uh, hyc <laughs> i don't know like hammer it down so it cooks evenly you know so it's like it's like this it's all one level you don't have this uh little point right here in this big old breast right there <laughs> uh try the same thought with uh veggies so I cook my veggies in that same seasoning I just said, and uh, butter. I make amazing broccoli. Is there nutritional value in it when I'm done with it? Probably not, but I pan sear. I'll do like blackened pan sear broccoli. I'll put a little bit of oil in the pan, just a little bit, throw in my broccoli and just kind of like do the chef. Like, you know what I'm talking about? You flip the, the pan and like the broccoli comes up like Instagram photogenic lands in the pan. Definitely none spills on the stove. And then, um, <laughs> Get life tips with a goodish, <laughs> goodish life advice. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, if you, uh, if, uh, I'm, I'm telling you, this is, this is tested. Um, many, many, many years of me testing this stuff. I found stuff that actually works. So, uh, but anyway, I will, um, I'll kind of sear the broccoli. And then at the very end, towards the end, I'll throw in a little bit, a little stick of butter. And I'll put garlic powder over the top. And you always salt your food. If you're cooking in a pan, always salt it towards the end. I know a lot of people throw salt in at the beginning. And you just kind of lose the flavor that way. If you salt it near the end, it kind of marries the flavors. The salt kind of heats up and uh, pulls some of the moisture uh, into the food. It's delicious. My mouth is watering right now. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it just seasons it a lot better. What am I doing? I was going to run all the way over there for two cooked meat. Let's not actually do that. <laughs> like... I don't know what's going on here, but yeah, veggies, uh, veggies are really good too. I, uh, I kind of like, um, I stick with, uh, uh, what is it? Riced cauliflower and I'll cook like chicken fried rice with it. It's really good. It's really good. You can also, uh, uh, air fry veggies as well. Pretty, pretty good. Some goodish cooking tips. Yeah. Um, I thought about. I don't know. I don't know. I have a website, uh, thegoodishgamer.com. I haven't really done anything with, but I thought about putting a blog on there and, and just kind of like doing everything. Like the Goodish Techie is coming. That's coming this year. Uh, how I do my streams and recording and video editing and thumbnails and Photoshopping and um, keyword research, bit rates, um, <laughs> webcam over video and um, different audio tracks and uh, just uh, just everything I could think of. I'm going to stick on that channel. Uh, and even website stuff. And then um, I think about maybe doing some with cooking as well. I may I may actually do that on Instagram, honestly. I've been trying to grow my Instagram a little bit. I'm going to have a different avenue where you guys can like DM me directly because I don't always get pinged for a Discord. Let's go ahead and mine while we're talking. Get something done here. Um, I try to get a, I get on Discord. I try to get on every single day, but there's so many con uh, conversations that have been going on over there. It's usually by the time I end up scrolling through and seeing what people have said, it's, uh, um, you, you know, it's like, oh, I got something else to do. Oh, we just mined that whole thing. Oh, I'm fat. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> got like a thousand stone on us. NFT tips. So I'm researching that too. There's some, uh, there's some work projects. I'm going to be 
working on there for uh, some of that kind of stuff. So, if I craft this, we have three slots down here. So, I mean, we might as well do this, right? We have it. I'd hate to just drop it. You start collecting stone. Right there. Right there. Um, I just did a really cool... Uh, one of these days you need to, to do a goodish baking video. My wife, she is an amazing baker. Um, I don't bake many things. Actually, you know what I do bake? This may sound weird to you guys. I bake bacon. Yeah. If you guys like crispy bacon, this will change your life as well. I don't know how you like your bacon. I like mine not burnt, but more on the burnt side. I like it when I put the bacon in my mouth, it almost melts. <laughs> Quotes from Goodish Gamer. Oh, I'm fat. <laughs> that would be my, that's, that's what my old me would say about me. I'm not fat at all. I'm not overweight at all. I'm just, I got a little uh, dad belly. What was I saying? Oh, uh, Mrs. Goodish. Yeah. What? I thought I heard a wolf. Um, <clears throat> Mrs. Goodish baking tips. Yeah, she's, she's legit. Yeah, so I put parchment paper down on a cookie sheet. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Lay out the strips of bacon. Cookie sheet is, is long ways, and I, I run the bacon strips this way. Don't make them touch. Stick them in there for however long feels good. Halfway through, uh, take it out and drain it into like a mason jar. Drain out the fat. Because if you pour that down the sink, it'll it'll uh, clog your drain. You know, I mean, adult adult stuff that you learn. <laughs> and, um, and then cook it until it looks good. And then take it out. And immediately, take it off of the cookie sheet to get out of the oil. Stick it on some paper towels. And it'll, it'll sit in the air. And the air is going to crisp that up. There is something around here. I'm hearing something. There's a deer over there. Um, oh, we need arrows. That's why I was doing this. Dude, I'm over here talking about baking bacon and all this other stuff. And I'm not even making arrows. My gosh, goodish. Be a better streamer, bro. Working on it. <laughs> I'm too lazy to do all that. I know, I know. Um, I saw this crazy fact that said, uh, we bake cookies and cook bacon. Ooh. Oh. It's amazing. It sounds really good. <laughs> uh, some people put like bacon in their brownies. I've never tried that. There's bacon ice cream. Like, I don't know. I'm kind of one of those guys that I like the original. Give me the original. Some people will like start mixing all this stuff together. And like, like Rice Krispie Treats, for instance, you guys are getting some real content here tonight. <laughs> Rice Krispie Treats, like, just give me a plain old Rice Krispie Treat. Don't cover it in, in uh, sprinkles and chocolate and then put M&Ms in it. It sounds good, but I don't know. I'd rather just have the regular old Rice Krispie Treat. Really weird example, but I don't know. Um, Sorry, guys. I'm over just talking my little heart out. Honestly, cooking bacon in a similar fashion, but my air fryer changed the entire bacon cooking game. I've heard that. I, um... <clears throat> Sorry, clearing my throat. Um... Does it, like, destroy the, the air fryer? I have this tiny little air fryer. I can't remember what brand it is. It's this cute little, like, teal one. It's very dinky. Um, it's easier to clean. My Ninja Foodi, the whole lid opens up and inside the lid is this heating element, like an electric stove top. And I'm just afraid if I put bacon in there, it's going to splatter all over that thing. I guess it kind of does. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I need to try that though. I need to try it because I've heard a lot of people say that air frying bacon changes their life. You know, I'm always up for my life being changed. Change isn't a bad thing. Improving is great. Um, <clears throat> uh, just like we uh, park in driveways and drive on parkways. Yeah, and boxing rings, but they're square. At this point, I'm half expecting the stream to switch to cookies. <laughs> I'm sorry, Diamond. <laughs> just, some things you get me talking about, I'll just kind of go. 
And I, I'm shooting all this wildlife. I'm like, man, that would make a good, uh, make a good venison burger right there. Just fine. Okay. Okay. Uh oh, just line it. Oh yeah. Maple bacon scone. Uh, my friend makes dude. It oh, oh, that sounds really good. Actually. Uh, Josh's nephew says, says, says hi. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, buddy. Thanks for being here. We're just here uh, shooting animals, talking about cooking. So I guess it may be kind of a morbid stream. <laughs> uh, 2022 going to see a lot of new goodish channel after dark baking. bacon. <laughs> uh, really, with the brand, I could do a lot of things, right? Um, yeah. I don't know. I know, I have a lot of plans. Plans within plans within plans. The whole goal is to um, eventually get full-time. Uh, like, mostly full-time and maybe do some, some work for on the side, like web development stuff. Set my own hours. That way I can devote... Dude, I am... Definitely not the goodish hunter. This deer's like... He can just... Dude, what's that, 12 arrows? The deer's just dancing and I... Oh. What is this? What even is this? <laughs> I, can't, I can't hit this guy. Stand still! Get wrecked! Stupid deer! Arr. Oh! <gasps> 32 arrows later, we got him! Oh. We'll just edit the other ones out. Just pretend like I did, I did amazing. Uh, French fries cooked in duck fat. Oh, 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 Travis. Oh, oh, <laughs> think about French fries and duck fat. French fries and duck fat. Oh, 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 you know what I don't have? Get out. Disrespect. Uh, hold on. I don't have a spear. I can't end a live stream. Crap. Um, so. Fries and duck fat. Yeah, so there's this place, um, Travis, if, if, uh, you've never been. Do, oh, I, th I thought I heard something else. Um, there's, dude, everything's happening right here and I can't do anything about it because I'm holding a dead wolf. Oh, just in time. There's a place in Fort Worth. Um, I'm trying to remember where it's at. Throckmorton, maybe. Um, it's called the Bird Cafe. Amazing, amazing burgers there. I think, I want to say they have like a duck fat fry there, if I remember correctly. Uh, hey, everyone got to eat. <laughs> He's somewhat related to you? Yeah. Family. I love it when family watches the stream. Welcome, by the way, JM. Uh, let's see. Just goodish, nothing more. You set the limit, dude. Everything's always goodish, you know? I strive for perfection. But then not really. Cause uh <laughs> I can't I can't keep up a facade. You know what I'm saying? Like, um I'm I'm true to who I am. I, that's all I know how to be. The channel would go nowhere. Uh it would fail miserably if I was trying to always be perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like just do you. Just do you. You're good enough. And there's your little little tidbit. Your goodish goodish bit for the stream. Um <clears throat> Did you see his legs when he went over that rock? I was seeing Fred Get out of here! Get off my lawn! Uh uh <laughs> French fries. I was seeing French fries. The deer legs were up in the sky. Sky. <laughs> they were up in the air as he's fallen over, but all I was seeing in my little food goggles was french rabbit. That's a rabbit. I can't kill rabbit. I don't know why I can't kill rabbits in this game. It's really bad. Thumper gets to run free. Okay, let's come over here. We need to repair this. I just clicked on everything but what I wanted to. Right there. Right chomp. Oh, wow. There's a lot of comments. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I like vegans, but <laughs> I 
needs to be a shirt. I like vegans, but I can't eat a whole one. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that. <laughs> that may get me in trouble. <laughs> okay, uh, you want to know a secret to get Aussies into your house. Uh, have chicken salt. We love it so much uh, on our chips. So much. Oh, I dude, I love salt. Salt, salt, salt. Chicken salt. Is that like its own thing or like salted chicken? Sorry for my uh, my ignorance. Is there? I thought I was standing on top of my campfire. <clears throat> that deer you killed going over the rock was awesome. His legs. Yeah, they look like French fries. <laughs> uh, good quote. I strive for perfection and then I see a shiny thing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, is it weird talking to text on a screen? Kind of, you know, there, I, I see why it's not a thing. And I guess we could Discord it, right? Like every ju everybody jumps in a Discord, it'd be, it'd be like a terrible replay for people watching after the fact. But I always thought like, why aren't there like voice channels on stream where we can like actually hang out? That'd be really cool. Cause even though I feel like I'm here with you guys, you guys may feel like I'm here with you more than I feel like you're here with me, if that makes sense. But then not really, because I'm I can see what you guys are saying, and and it's uh, it's very interactive. But yes, to answer your question, it's uh, it is kind of weird. But still, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm just seeing chat go by. Uh, I consume a lot of YouTube. Uh, you're one of my favorite new folks I follow because of uh, how you keep it real. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's all I know how to do. Just me. Uh, it's good enough. It's good-ish. <laughs> uh, it's salt that tastes like chicken. <gasps> oh. Ho, ho, ho. With the uh, cough at it. Look at all the deer. Oh, my God. Look at the deer. Okay, let's go sleep real quick. Um, that sounds really good. Chicken salt. I like, um, I like really salty things too. Uh, like snacks. Pringles? Pringles is my jam. If Pringles, if you, if anybody from Pringles ever watches this, I would love to be sponsored by Pringles, please. I'd take a product. Because once you pop, you know, you know. Uh, but sea salt and vinegar. Dude. There's also that, um, what is it? The kettle chips, sea salt and vinegar? That's what I like one of my favorite chips. It's just my palate. I like more, uh, what would that be? Tart? Not tart. I don't know. Sour? Salty? I'm more salty than I am sweet in my taste palate. I'm more sweet than salty in my personality. <laughs> Sorry, goodish. Gotta go. Uh, have a goodish one. Uh, no problem. No problem. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I appreciate you all. Streamers like Technoblade would suffer uh, from the noise. Technoblade. I haven't seen Technoblade. Your channel will do great. Um, you have a very easygoing, honest personality. You laugh a lot. Because <laughs> I always do things that um, are really bad. And I just have to laugh. If you can't laugh at yourself, then, I mean, it, you gotta... I'm saying you. I'm not, not talking to you guys. But, you know, in general. Uh, anyway. I've learned to lighten up. I haven't always laughed at myself. I'll say that. Uh, I can tell you never get bored, uh, which shows. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Only boring people get bored. That's true. And in even streams like right now, I feel like I feel like I started off the stream really boring because I was tired. And I was like, I'm just going to live stream because I wanted to hang out and I wanted to play Icarus. So win win. Did I? Did I not sleep? I got in bed, but I, <laughs> I definitely did not sleep. Okay, perfect. See right there. You gotta laugh at that. Otherwise, I'd rage quit and be like, "Wow, stupid campfire!" Really? There's a wolf over there. We're going. It. We're going for it. Shiny object. Chicken salt sounds amazing. I know. I know. I wonder if that dude. I am stuck inside of my uh, my labyrinth of stone. Stone labyrinth. That'll be my metal band name. Stone labyrinth. And it'll be all gent music. Oh, no, not drink. Oh, fish! Uh, 
Got to get the uh, Pringle tattoo on your face. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, dude. I show up one day on webcam. I'm like, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen. Pringle owns me now. Uh, we're just going to be flying through the verse uh, with a jalapeno deliciousness. And I like crunch Pringles throughout the entire stream. Yeah, that'd be amazing. <clears throat> I uh, gotta get a. <laughs> yeah, I just read that. <laughs> uh, so you're not salty, Mike. Wooka wooka. <laughs> I've seen um, I've seen like one of his videos. And uh, full disclosure, I I've said it before. I've said it a lot. I don't watch a lot of Star Citizen content. I just don't. I like being surprised by things. I don't necessarily like being new at everything I, I do, but I it keeps the uh, it keeps the the honest goodish reaction to that situation you know and then i always i pay for it in the comments that's 100 percent true uh usually my comments are the majority of why did you do it that way i just saw, i thought i shot myself it was a butt shot but you know what that's how i learn i get taught a lot <laughs> pringle asmr <laughs> dude oh man we should have goodish ASMR where I'm just like, okay, cough at it. <clears throat> and, um, <laughs> oh man, that'd be wrong. That would be, I'd be like the, uh, I wouldn't last very long, but I started ASMR channel just to troll people. And I'm like, okay. And today we're doing things and then, brah, and then like freak them out. You know, that just, that's wrong. That's wrong. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Doesn't mean I wouldn't want to. Okay, anyway, um, I laugh a lot of stuff. Uh, even stuff I shouldn't laugh, I can't help it. That's me. That's me. I've learned a lot in life. I've, I've gone through a lot of things in my life. And uh, <clears throat> haven't always been this positive-go-lucky guy, but I've kind of learned to just to let just laugh at it, right? Because there's always a, a bright side to every situation. And I, I think, I, I believe, I'm trying not to get all, like, preachy here. I try not to do that. Uh, but I get passionate about things. Especially like personal experiences, and um, I I think I think we're a product of what we think about, right? I mean, life is energy. The universe is made up of energy things, and we are energy, and emotion is energy. I'm not a weird energy guy, but you know, it's <laughs> there's there's truth to it, and I just feel like you know, like if you walk into a room and you're talking with someone, you just know instantly that 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 person is like l legit. And other times you walk in a room, you talk to someone, you're like, whoa, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> uh, it, it, we're, we're sensing things, right? So anyway, I can't remember where I was going with that, but, um, I just, uh, oh, I know I was saying, uh, it's good to just kind of focus on positivity and it's a choice. It's choice. It's a choice. I have to wake every single morning when I wake up, I don't wake up like, yay, it's a good day. Hooray. Push ups. drink a glass of water. We're doing it. I'm like, it's a Monday. Uh, and then other stuff and things and then ish stuff and then yeah anyway so my, i guess uh, i can't remember where i was going with that but um i think we're talking about chicken salt <laughs> oh my gosh uh the tattoo thing is real companies will pay for tattoos on you twenty five thousand dollars plus for your face oh dude i will do a pringle tattoo over my mouth uh, and then, uh, then I'll be the divorced goodish gamer. And then, uh, and then, yeah, I'll just stream all day. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I saw this, uh, I saw this thing that said, uh, oh, I, I know what's, no, nah, never mind. I can't remember what I was talking about. Um, <laughs> they, uh, let's see. I saw this thing that said that what people really mean when they flip over the test paper first, then it cuts into the guy grabbing the microphone and screaming I'm better than you into it <laughs> uh, let's see uh, having a kid sometimes help foster that positive outlook it sure does that's the thing too right like uh, I'm I'm building I'm growing a channel I'm growing a brand but I'm also kind of building a legacy for my family right and uh, there's gonna be some day and that's 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 really a big reason why uh, I, I've been keeping my channel 
kind of the the rating it's been is firstly it's hard to find out there I, I, I turn on a youtube channel and someone's dropping the f-bomb like within the first two minutes i'm out it's nothing against that person it's just i don't know that's just me but also for me personally this isn't i'm not i'm not bashing other channels that's not me at all and that's not what i'm saying but for me personally i want my daughter to be able to watch this uh this channel and everything i put out i want to be able to watch except for my after dark stuff because that's going to be a little bit more <laughs> uh <laughs> Uh, what is it? Cyberpunk and phasmophobia and all that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> uh, definitely becoming a parent uh, changes a lot of things. Before I forget, your uh, videos and streams are always fun and bring a smile to my face. Uh, and you do a great job making me feel uh, like we are right there playing the game with you. Thank you. Diamond Distorted, thank you so much. That means a lot to me. That is That was the goal. Uh, that's if you look at the the about section of my channel, that's my main goal uh, for life and the channel. I want to leave this place. Someday I'm leaving this place. I, I don't want to be morbid, but I, you know we don't get out of here alive. And um, I want to leave it better than I found it for my family uh, and then people who I come in contact with on a daily, whether it's at a gas station or the a checkout person at the grocery store, and then you guys. And uh, congrats on the 10k goodish. <clears throat> uh cough edit excuse me sorry uh yeah you, you, this game looks amazing thank you pickle pizza uh yeah thanks for the thanks for the congratulations and i, I want to talk about this here real quick the ten thousand subscribers i always say subscribers but the reality is it's ten thousand individuals right i've said this before and here we are just talking i keep going in and out of the front door for some reason i'm just kind of just pacing now we're talking we're pacing um ten thousand individuals people it's not a number it's not a subscriber count. It's 10,000 people that, that get to come hang out. And and so, Diamond, thank you for that feedback. That is that is 100% my goal is is to um, hopefully make your day better. That's not a, a boastful thing. But do my part to try to um, kind of squeeze my way into your guys' life to, to at least make you smile at the very least. Because a smile is the start of... A laugh and a laugh is a start of a new attitude shift and the new attitude shift is a start of a, a new outlook on life and it just kind of cascades from there so anyway that got weird uh let's see i'm missing a lot leather and chains <laughs> dark ish <laughs> wake the feck up for samurai <laughs> uh safe word is chicken salt <laughs> Uh, it's more of a phrase. Sadly, today, uh, had an academic grand match, and uh, two teams can get the last at the same time since two different games are going. Uh, but we got just absolute dead last. Oh, I'm sorry, Big Phoenix. It's okay. Which I think is better than last year. Um, where we got second, I think. This because last year we were so close to victory, but this year now the only way to go is up. Not mostly likely down. I love your attitude, Phoenix. That is, that's what I'm talking about. Like, that's how you look at it. Always smile when I watch your videos. Good. That, I mean, hundred percent. You just, you just nailed the brand. Um, that outlook. You can look at it and be like, man, we're dead last. Like, what was me? And focus on that. Or, dude, we're last. We can only improve from here. Uh, so I'm going to take this meat. 13 is it worth going over there we should probably try to kill some things on the way out there uh dude we've been I've, i have like talked for the last hour my gosh why do you guys let me just just flap my lips like this i thought i heard something over there uh anyway i get on these tangents always smile when i watch your videos good 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 thank you so much uh you should just keep walking in and out of the front door it's cool <laughs> Oh, Pickle. I even ref I even like called attention to it. I was like, here I am just going in and out. And I kept going in and out. I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, I'm going the wrong way, that's for sure. Um, I don't know. It's the attention deficit thing that's going on here. Um, I focus on one thing. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, bush, bush shot. This guy's out here. I know he is. I feel it. 
Oh, I hate it when I hit them, but it's not a, a death blow. <sighs> I had to explain this to a person, but they still didn't get it. Sadly, um, some people won't. Some people won't get it. And, you know, that's that's okay. That's okay. There's no shame. I don't think we uh, we go through and... I don't. I, I'm talking I'm talking straight for me. I don't want to go through and condemn people for that. Um, cause I wasn't always that way, you know? It, it took it took some things in my life to carry it. Uh to to get to where I am today. Life experiences, right? <clears throat> um I know this isn't Star Citizen, but uh, what do you think is a big ticket item for this year's next update? I hope it's hangers. Oh, Gypsy, I would love hangers. I agree. I agree with you. Hangers and uh, yeah, sit down. Bow. Um, is uh, maybe you can tell me since I don't know anything about Star Citizen, but that's really <laughs> mostly what I play. Uh, habs, like personal habs, like building. Um. Uh, with the, uh, what's the ship? Is it the Odyssey? That's the, it's not the Odyssey. It, no, that's not the Odyssey. What's the big ship that's gonna, like, bring in personal habs? I think I was watching Board Gamer. I said earlier I don't watch much Star Citizen content, but I will watch Board Gamer stuff and, um, and kind of like just the highlights. But, uh, hangers? That's gonna be incredible. I hope that's a thing. And I don't know if, um, is, uh, is Pyro set to come out? This year? I think it is, right? By the end of the year? Isn't flapping your lips sort of the gist of the whole YouTuber thing? I guess so, yeah. That's touche, touche. Or as I say, touchy. Wow! Oh! Okay. <laughs> Been scared a little too often in this stream. <clears throat> uh, it reminds me, last time I was watching you and I asked about those uh, words on your page. Uh... Always in your dad's office. Yeah. Yeah. It was a quote by uh, Robert Louis Stevenson. Yeah, that was okay. I thought you might want to know. Thank you so much. I know that was a, uh, he would reference that too. There, there's parts of my dad's life that um, I wish I was more involved in, you know, growing up, we get so caught up in our own life. Right. And it's like uh, any, any given time of day, it didn't matter how old I was or where I was. I could call my dad if my dad was there for me. He'd drop everything. It didn't matter what it was. He'd drop it and he was there for me. And, uh, I, I feel like I kind of took advantage of that at times as a child uh, and even as a young teen. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So thank thank you for that. Uh, yeah, Jeffrey, I appreciate that. Um, so. Pioneer. I think, yeah. Yes, Pioneer. That's, that's what I'm talking about. 317-ish. Yeah, Travis. Uh, and that's, is that... I mean, we're in 316, so that's this year, right? Any word on uh, placeable decor on ships or environments? No, sure. I think you can put down... Um, I mean, there's persistence now, right? It's... I don't know if you can put uh, Pico, Pico the Penguin on a bunk if it will stay. I don't... I don't know if it'll stay if you... if you store your ship and call it back out. Oh, that's a thing yet. But uh, there, there is different things. There's uh, if you go into 890 jump, there's like a little 890 jump. Uh, what is it like a little scale model? Um, I don't know if those are purchasable or not. And also over there at um, oh gosh, what is it? Uh, Crusader. The platform, where they're building the big Hercules there. Um, in that store, in that shop, there's like some little placeable Crusader ships. I don't think you can buy just yet but yeah I, I don't know I, I would love to see that um <clears throat> there you go let's see uh um in the last round we had uh, already decided that uh, i mean two others are best math players and uh there was like uh, eight math questions and we knew the answers so like five questions before the other team even buzzed. Nice, nice. My math is uh, two plus two is chicken. It always seems to work out. I'm terrible at math, but uh, I'm a developer. <laughs> Figure that one out. <laughs> uh, let's see. But I'm not that cranky about any of this. That's fine. 
That's fine. It's, it's okay to react. It's like, it's like we don't put on a facade and be like, eh, I've got this permanent smile and everything is perfect. It's not that. It's, it's just, it's just how we react to things, right? So we're still allowed to feel things. I feel things. I get pissed all the time. I rage quit Star Citizen. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. My dad's favorite quote when I was younger. Uh, your dad can fix anything. Having a reliable father is priceless. Pickle pizza. That is, uh, it's so true. And my dad set a perfect example of what kind of dad I want to be. Um, I, I won't talk about his upbringing, but, but my upbringing was, was fantastic. I had a dad who was always there. I could tell him anything. And it was always this twinkle in his eye, hand on my shoulder saying, I'm so proud of you. And, uh, that's, that is, that's, that's extremely rare. But, uh, you know, that's the legacy that he left me. And that's what I'm leaving my daughter. My dad had a saying, he goes, and maybe, maybe he said it all the time. Maybe it wasn't his, maybe it was someone else. Cause he was, he's, a uh, uh, educated. He did a lot of reading. He, um, he said, you don't need to change the world. You just have to change your world. And, um, uh, that kind of blew my, that blew my mind. And I've kind of taken that with me. And it kind of takes the stress off things like people, like everybody kind of wants to change things, right? Everybody wants to participate and be, be part of something big, some big change, but it's, it can be daunting, right? Um, <clears throat> it's, it's a lot on the shoulders, but when you narrow it down to, I don't have to change the world. I can just change my world. And when I change my world, I inevitably change the world around me. And then the people around me can change their world, which changes the world. It's, it's just, it's just crazy. Like, oh, it's just a different way of looking at things. I don't know. What a, what an interesting stream tonight. <laughs> uh, I have Star Citizen, Citizen account and that uh, crappy first ship. Is it the uh, Aurora or the Mustang I have played? I haven't played in a while, but uh, it's impossible to get new ships and fun stuff without spending money. So you can, you can grind in game by mining doing some uh, contracts and that kind of stuff uh, to earn in-game credits and you can purchase stuff in-game, but um, you can also spend real money. I've I, I've spent very little real money. I've done all grinding in-game, which is sometimes why videos don't come out because I'm like, I need to make enough money to rent a ship just so I can tour it. I get offers on uh, ships, but I always feel kind of bad because uh, I never really know what I'm going to record. And I always feel bad like last minute being like, hey, can I borrow your 890 jump at... 11 p.m. <laughs> um, I put some presents in the uh, the bed in my cuddy, and they disappeared after I stored it. Okay, well that's good to know, Travis. I'm it's terrible it happened, but good to know. At least they, the Luminalia presents. At least they were only worth uh, 250. Am I right? <laughs> hey up. Those walls, floors, and ceiling look a lot like Ark buildings. Yeah, this is it's kind of... It could almost be Ark reskinned, right? Uh, 2 plus 2 is chicken salt. <laughs> Goodish Gamer quote, 2 plus 2 is chicken. That's, um... It's actually my favorite uh, comedian, Brian Regan. If you guys like stand-up comedy, Brian Regan is where it's at. Uh, What's up, Kyle? Morning, day, or evening. Uh, it is 12.42 a.m. for me. <laughs> me and my friend are worried. Uh, but yeah, welcome. Thank you for being here. Kind of a weird stream tonight. Icarus stream. We talked about food, baking, uh, killing animals in here. And then I haven't really done any of the objective yet. We're still working on the cooked meat. Uh, but we've gone so far left field in this stream. Then uh, <laughs> we're not getting the objective done today. Uh, let's see. Me and my friend are worried even if we get the Star Citizen, uh, computer would die. Uh, he just built mine. Isn't as good as others. That is, I mean, it, it's pretty system intensive. It, it will run on lower systems, but it wouldn't run on my old system. That's why I got the new beast I'm playing on now. Yeah, I just don't want to spend real money. Just want to fly some ships. I have, a. Uh, 5,000 something, don't know what to do with it. Um, 5,000, I mean, honestly, you can, uh, I mean, you can buy a gun with that. 
It, you can't really buy too much with 5,000. You can buy some uh, Whammer's hamburgers. It'll change your life. Best burgers in the verse. I wouldn't mind being sponsored by them someday. <laughs> but, um... It, it's really, like... If you have the, um... Let's see, what did you say? You have the Aurora or... Uh, let's see. So... You can run box missions. And I can't remember off the top of my head what they're called. I think it's delivery or something like that. Basically, you'll fly to a location, pick up a box, a crate, you stick it in your ship, and you fly to the drop-off, and you find this red, like, drop box. Um, and you hit the little in the up arrow, the insert, and the door will open. You stick it in there, and then you step back. And then uh, you just do that over and over and over again. And you can earn credits that way. It's a good way to do it. Um beginning with a beginning ship that's how i did it and then also you can do like the illegal monitor missions as well that's a good way it's twenty thousand credits per mission but you fly out to the area and you hit tab and you ping like you scan and you find a little uh a data cluster a little pixel cluster and you go over to it and then you hit t and you target the uh uh the illegal monitor and just make sure oh i'm such a good Icarusser. Uh, make sure that you scan all three before you shoot at one. Because once you shoot at one, you have five minutes to destroy them all. Or you lose the contract. You won't get paid for it. So it's always best to scan them all. So you know right where they're at. So when you shoot one, you can go to the next one. You can finish it probably about like a minute and a half. Anyway. <clears throat> um, simple and profound. Uh, actually have a name for the Aurora. The Glass cockroach i like that gypsy i like that it's very fitting right um but my baby is a cutlass black I, I can't leave it i can't leave it i don't know how i have it i have it right now i did not buy it in game uh 316 hit and then boom i had a cutlass black or no it wasn't even that it was after 316 hit it's really weird because i did the whole video i was like i found my ship uh, during the IA, IAE, and then uh, I went and bought it, and I did the whole video on that, and I echo sang in the back of it, and I was like, ah, and all the cool stuff. Um, <laughs> that is my content. <laughs> and I've flown it, like, maybe six times, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I had a Cutlass Black in my inventory. And I was like, uh-oh, I can't not fly the Cuddy B. So, yeah, the Cutlass Black is definitely... Uh, okay, so we're getting cooked meat to go take over there to this guy colors black i just can't i can't leave it <clears throat> uh don't need to buy a gun when you can loot the boxes oh that's true travis yeah that is true you can loot boxes now uh let's see most ships cost around at least one million in game yeah you can rent them for less um if you really want to take the dive you can um man I i've heard of people renting like the cutlass and the rock and doing some ground mining and making enough to go buy it i've heard of people renting the prospector going to make money to buy their own so there there's different ways to start um board gamer has a good has a good uh video on how to get started in 316. <clears throat> uh let's see do monitor missions comma raise until 40k buy two more gimbals and guns yeah get 67k and then rent a connie do bounties more monitors till 700 i bounties is still one thing i've tried it with you guys on stream and i'm just so unsuccessful about it i get to the location where they're at and they're like glitched inside of some asteroid or just, they just don't show up it's really weird i haven't tried one in a while though i may try it again uh i bought my cutlass black with my uh nana's monies at christmas so yay no more buy ship oh yeah uh, the colors black is definitely one I, I if if i'm gonna spend real money on a ship that's 100 one i'm gonna get that and the uh constellation andromeda dude colors black and the and the andromeda two of my daily driver go-to ships doesn't matter what i have i can have the reclaimer and the 890 jump i'd be pulling out one of those two ships the uh cutlass black or the andromeda i rented the freelance uh two uh about the cutlass black they're both good ships i i like the freelancer 
I really do. Another storm. Wow. This one's just rain, though. Not bad. All right, let's go do this. We were um, doing something before we we're talking. So we built this. We can't really do anything with it just yet because this, I mean, it does tier two or I don't even know if at this point I try to bring the stream back to the game. <laughs> we just run with it. I'm probably about to sign off. Honestly, you guys We're uh, five minutes away from three hours. I was like, I'm not going to stream very long tonight. I say that every single stream and I really intend to not like do these super long streams. <clears throat> um, let's see, uh, but Andy is my favorite. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, my brother's asleep on the couch. Should I wake him up and take him to bed? What time is it there? If it's like super, super like early morning, maybe just, I don't know, power through to the, so the sun comes up. I would, I honestly, I would take it to bed. <laughs> uh, let's see. Thoughts on Windows 11. Um, I installed it on my laptop, which I use for like, where, where am I even going, dude? Uh, I use for some work stuff, maybe uh, mainly like Google Docs and that kind of stuff. Um, I don't hate it, but I'm not about to put it on my main computer right now. I've heard uh, issues with OBS, some NVIDIA drivers. Oh, I know you, NVIDIA always updates their drivers, but I mean, until it's like the solid thing, I won't, uh, I won't, I don't plan to uh, move, make the move to Windows 11. What is Icarus about? I don't really know. I don't even really know, even know either. It's about surviving and not dying. And uh, we're running out in the middle of a storm. So that's a thing. We're dying of hunger as well. So clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. We stack it, ate a stack of berries. Um, <clears throat> it's terrible. You have to use it every day at work. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know. It prompted me on my on my laptop. So I was like. Yeah, sure. Why not? It's it's like eight gigs of RAM. It takes forever to do anything. So I was like, yeah, who needs it? But my desktop, I don't want to. I've got a good thing going here with all my settings. I don't want to install a new operating system and be like, wait, <laughs> where did everything just go? What happened? Uh, same as my time. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, oh. I still need to make a, uh, dude, where's my even? Get out of here, dude. Um, <laughs> what was I saying was another phrase that you hear the goodish gamer say a lot. That needs to be on a t-shirt or hoodie or merch as well. Um, surviving, not dying in a spacesuit. That's, this sums it up really. So, Star Citizen on Earth. So, they are going to come out with that system, right? Like, our system, but it's going to be like New York or like Earth in the future. It's not going to look look totally like Earth. That would be really cool. But we probably won't be able to fly around like too low. Like, through the cities. I don't know. I don't know. It would be really cool. Uh, let's see. Why are you in the storm? Didn't you learn from last time? Um, I, I did not. I did not. I learned from my mistakes in life, not in games. Uh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness there's no toilet mechanism in the game. Oh, <laughs> those berries would go right through you. I know. I know. Like, uh, oh, what is that game? Uh, Scum. That's a good game. Where you have to actually like your bladder fills up and you have to poop and pee. That makes for good content. I started off some of my scum videos squatted because the character actually makes the noise. I'd be like, <laughs> it's great. Toilet humor is funny. Uh, good gamer quote. What's I talking about? <laughs> oh man. Uh, please don't welcome. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Thank you for being here. Uh, have you missed anything? You've, I don't make you feel bad. 
but you've you've missed a lot of randomness on this stream um i don't know everybody what like sum it up we started off talking about icarus doing icarus stuff playing the objective to going straight tangent off into cooking how i prepare my chicken uh what did we talk about dude we talked about all sorts of stuff <clears throat> oh this tree fell whoa this tree fell over let us chop it um yeah at this point um i think it's we're too far gone to bring it back to icarus content meat gaming cookie and cooking and therapy that's perfect yeah that's exactly what it is oh but um i mean you guys are you guys are therapeutic for me too okay we could just i didn't fell this tree so can't be mad at that oh tree face I heard a tree beard tree face Kaleidoscope of topics. Yep. Yep. Perfect. 1%. Uh, <laughs> it's 1% of what the stream is supposed to be. 100% <laughs> random. So it's on brand. It's, uh, it's totally on brand. All right, you guys. Um, we may I, oh, I hate to do i hate um i hate saying hate but i also hate like signing off it's one of the worst parts anyway uh to everyone who has made it this far if you're watching after the fact my apologies um and then also thank you for watching <gasps> oh i put one in there and it made oh no i put two in here and made four at the very end of the stream, you guys, we learned something. Oh, uh, yeah. So anyway, a uh, lot of lot of front door action here in this stream. Just in and out, in and out. What's the scum game? Oh, Jeffrey, 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 Jeffrey. Uh, I've done some videos on on my channel, and it's a series I want to start back up. So, as bad as some of the the content and the quality may be on those videos. Or, or go somewhere else. Go look at it on a different channel. But check out Scum. See if it's something you guys want to see. Uh, me play. Because I loved it. It's a... Um, um, anyway, I say, that, I say that and then... Um, I would love to play it. I would love to do a series on it. I may do it on After Dark if, it, if uh, people don't want to see it here. But anyway. Um, it's a game where essentially the story is you're a prisoner. On a prison island and go way back to like Arnold Schwarzenegger movies where uh what was it it was the uh the running man where it's like this tv show where all the inmates the criminals fought each other I guess kind of like Hunger Games too but you're it's a survival crafting game with an entire body mass index digestive system macronutrient micronutrient um breakdown where you have to like manage it all thirst uh there's vehicles you can repair vehicles you can uh drive vehicles there's trucks cars boats uh bikes there's all sorts of crazy stuff and they're super active on their development so uh huge things are coming there's sharks in the water if you fall in the water uh you can get eaten by a shark which is terrifying to me it's an amazing game you have to poop and pee in there you can throw up if you drink too much milk uh, you get sick if you eat spoiled stuff. It's incredible. You, yeah, like you get fat. Yeah, whole body. Yeah, exactly. You get fat. The more you run and the less you eat, you get thin. The more you eat and the more you sit around, you get fat. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> <clears throat> about 101% then. Seems about right. <laughs> Have a good night. Um, everybody, thank you so much for being here. So two plus two, two does equal four. It, it, as it turns out in the textbooks, I don't really know. Uh, no chicken. No chicken. Yeah. Two plus two is chicken. Of course, I join the stream when it ends. Classic me. I'm so sorry. Please don't. Um, I'm going to try to stream. It's 1 a.m. right here. Uh, probably gonna have a big day tomorrow, but I may stream tomorrow night. For me, or, or I guess tonight, technically, because to, it's 
1 a.m. on a Saturday. <laughs> Maybe tonight, Saturday night, or tomorrow night, Sunday night. We'll see, we'll see, but it'll be Star Citizen. Uh, but it'll definitely be after, uh, like, 8. 8, 8.30 uh, Central Standard Time, U.S. Time. The name is rad. It's a, it's a cool premise. So there's this, like, little drone that flies around. It's supposed to be the, the TV camera, and it records you, and it's like people are watching you somewhere. And other inmates, when they die, they get a chip implanted in it, and they turn into what they call them puppets. But basically, they're zombies. So it's a zombie survival crafting uh, body health game. It's crazy. It's so cool. Is Scum Online game Icarus as well? Yeah, it's server. Uh, there's You can play solo, where it's just the NPCs. It's the puppets or the zombies. And you just run around and survive. Or you can play on a huge server uh, with a bunch of people. And then you survive against the zombies and other players. And people can, like, kidnap you in the game. It's crazy. And they can take your stuff. And it's kind of like Star Citizen, where you got to work for your stuff. And it's, a, it's also a, a scavenge game. Like, you go through dresser drawers. Nightstands, armors, uh, trucks, cars, police stations, pick locks, and you get gear and you find weapons. Old World War, World War II bunkers um, with like Mosin rifles and M1 Grands and shotguns. And you can like weapon repair kit because everything has durability. It's crazy cool. Anyway, I keep, <laughs> I keep signing off. Have a good night also. Have a great day tomorrow. You as well. Uh, kind of battle royale with long-term NPCs added. Yeah. Is this scum, uh, where you make a uh, character, you can change the size of the, uh, yep. Yep. That's it. hundred percent it. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Hit the bell. Nice. Nice. 2 AM for me. Uh, but please don't, I hope to see you in the next stream. Um, no shame if you're not there. And everybody else, I would, I would love to see you guys there, too. Diamond, have a great night. Everybody, see you. Gypsy. Phoenix. Jeffrey. Kenneth. Not Kenneth. Trying to spam with that URL. <laughs> anyway, Invictus. Everybody, I appreciate you being here. Love you guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. So until next time, this is the Goodish Gamer. T-Bond. Good night. Signing out.